Nerds International proudly presents Well, 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 here we are again with Grimald and Minoch for another episode of the Foreign Beggars, a DCC RPG actual play. Egg spect plenty of fun in this episode, little ones. Ha <laughs> ha. So welcome back. This is the second episode of our DCC RPG actual play, and we are back once again with Nick Lamley. Nick, who are you playing? Hello, I am playing Grimald, the Vagrant Hobbit. And James Clark, who are you playing? I'm playing Minuk, the ex herder dwarf. <laughs> We're not going to do a recap of the last episode, but this time we find ourselves in the um, side room in the courthouse of Fanning City. And you guys sit with your state appointed lawyer. The reason being is that after the events of the last episode, where you crashed a boat into a pub after coming out of a portal, you were quickly arrested by the city guard. And they didn't tell you the reason for your arrest. They just quickly arrested you and said that you were to stand trial the next day. You were put in a cell and you had to go to sleep. You were given a really horrible meal of some owl gruel. And then you woke up the next day and were taken to court and given a state appointed lawyer. Um, his name is Stumpy. And he now sits opposite you and he's like, um, oh, Right guys, all right, listen, I've got to be honest with you. I'm not the uh, best lawyer on the planet, but um, I'll do my best. All right? Um, well, yes, thank you, but... Surely, being any form of lawyer, you'd be able to tell us why we're here? <laughs> <laughs> what? Stop laughing. Uh, Oi, is he uh, serious? Well, uh, what, you're, what is he laughing about? You're asking me to have done, like, a bit of research in that, right? <laughs> you, you haven't? Um. Oh, uh, God, what are we going to do? Well, look... I'm a state appointed lawyer. I don't get told much at all. I haven't done no, like, the barest bit of fucking research. Alright? So, my point is, you little guys, I ain't got a problem with your kind or nothing like that. Alright? I think you should be able to get jobs. You know, you're good at cleaning under shelves. Uh, well, there's, lo there's loads of things you can do. So I'm on your side. Alright? I don't even think you've done it or whatever you've done. Well, we. We, look, we saved the city. What? Saved the city from what? Yes, quiet. Certain death. Well, we we kind of saved. Did we save anybody in the end? Um. Apart from ourselves. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, mm. Well, look, we stopped. We stopped no, 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 a terrible no, 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 no. evil. That's what, the important part. When you came in here, I ain't asked if you done it or not. Okay, my name's Stumpy, and they call me that for a reason, because I'm stumped most of the time. But the point is, we're gonna go in there. And we just got to hear what they got to say, because I ain't done the research. I weren't listening when they told me what it is that you guys done, because they had cakes in this in the side of the room, and, and I've got to be honest, I got distracted. But when we go in that courtroom, we just got to hear what it is they think you've done, and then we got to try and fight it, and we do our best to try and not get you the death penalty, all right? Well, uh, your best better be good, because death I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not going on the chopping block for you, mate. No, it ain't, ain't going to be good, I tell you that. <laughs> I'm a state appointed lawyer for a reason, mate. How many right. cases you won? Uh, what's less than one? None. Yeah, that many. Oh shit, my knock. Mm. Grimald, if only I still had the cash that I used to have, we would have the best lawyer. I can't believe that after all my life and all the terrible things I've done, my downfall's gonna be due to a court litigation. You guys are quickly herded into the other room, where you can see that there's a huge crowd gathered to come and watch this court case. And um, you can see that there's um, a jury and a prosecution lawyer. This guy's sharply dressed in a blue suit with um, slick back hair. This blue suit has um, sort of like a fur lining on it. This guy's obviously very, very well paid. And a judge takes the stand and he says, 
All rise for the case of the city versus Grimald and Minoc, the filthy, filthy, dirty, low-life scum, tiny men. And everyone in the audience starts cheering. I don't, I don't appreciate that. Whoa! Settle down, sir. Long time since I've been called sir. Look, look, just go with it, all right? Just don't piss him off when he's get out of this jam. Now, you stand accused of using black magic to summon a gigantic boat to destroy an innocent pub. How do you plead? Um, Stumpy st- pipes up and he goes, I would recommend that you plead guilty. You'll probably get a bit a bit less of a penalty if you admit to what you did. Of God's sake, Stumpy. Well, I don't know, you know, I, 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 I don't know what powers you guys have. Uh, uh, none. No, do I, Look, I, you come from lands far away, okay? I don't know what you can do. Look, just admit that you've done it, all right? Look, I'll show you what I can blade do if you don't care. Well, well, don't do it now. Right, right, right. Uh, Your Honour, not guilty. Not guilty. <laughs> what, really? Yeah. We didn't do a thing. I didn't gunge you no boat. Oh, well, I was kind of... Uh, well, I've got a lunch date, so I was hoping that you would actually plead guilty on this one. Uh, well, we're not guilty, and we're not going to plead thusly. <laughs> Look, we're sorry about what happened to the pub, but what you need to know is that we did save Vanity. Okay, okay, simmer down. Get to your bench. Okay. The prosecution will now make its case. And you see the prosecution lawyer um, sort of take up the stand, and he says, um, My name is Prosecutor Phoenix Beckett, and I will now make my case. The prosecution would like to call to the stand Eric Lamaru. And um, you can hear that the the crowd just starts chattering among themselves. And what you see come to the stand is quite obviously Snake Boy, but with a moustache attached to him. And he walks to the stand and he just goes, Yes, yes, uh, good morning, everyone. Yes. And he goes, Now, bloody hell. I would like you to tell me what you saw on the events that happened yesterday to the pub. Yes, it was awful. Um... I was up on the keep on the hill, and I saw the two of them basically summoning a dark lord, um, which they used to summon a demonic boat through a portal which destroyed the pub. It was disgusting. Wait a minute. Lies! Wait a minute there. Objection overruled! Shut up down there! Carry on. It was, um, it was horrible. And, um... They even accused me of being a half-snake. And then Prosecutor Beckett speaks and he goes, Well, that is a disgusting thing to call somebody. Would you say that these people, these disgusting hobbits and dwarves, are racist? Yes, I would absolutely say that. Lies! Whoa! Calm down there. More bloody lies. This is a a sham. Objection overruled once again! The judge pipes up. Oh, fuck. If you two do not... Simmer down, I will have to have you reprimanded and, and absolutely, disgustingly flayed! Flamed? Flayed! Oh, that's worse. Is that worse, why not? And then Prosecutor Beckett continues, Please, Mr. Lamaru, would you carry on with your, with your story? Yes, I would like to carry on. What I then saw, it was the worst of all. They summoned beasts from hell itself and started having disgusting sex with them. It was awful. It was awful and... and oh, God, sorry. I just can't... Uh, oh, come on! Anyone buying this baloney? Um, all of the audience start booing and throwing oh, tomatoes oh, at you. Ow. All right. Uh, oh, bloody hell. We've been framed, we've been set up here. That will be all. Um, Prosecutor Beckett sends um, Snake Boy away and Snake Boy walks back down the aisle. And as he walks past you guys, he's, he, he goes... Um, See you later, cunt bags. <laughs> Fuck it, come here, you crap him. I'm going to murder you. Um, your lawyer, Stumpy, looks at you and he goes, um, he'd avoid doing any death threats to um, people during the court proceedings. I meant by murder, of course, I meant hug. He ain't, <laughs> no, per- he ain't no person, mate. Look at him. He's slivering out of that bloody door now. Now no one's looking. The prosecution would like to call next to the stand Cutthroat Jenkins. Oh, shit, my Oh, lock. dear. Fuck, fuck, fuck. What is this place? It was really awful. You should have seen it. He, you see, Minoc came over to my table and he was saying to me, I'm going to get you, you bloody cunt. And that was it. Motivation. 
That's what you needed to, to prosecute in one of these crimes, right? And that was what I saw just in that moment. You see, Mino owes me money. And what he did is he came over to me table and he said, I'm gonna get you, you fucking cunt. And then he said, summon boat! And he lifted his hand above his head. Liar! <coughs> Overruled! Well, uh, that's the last time I'm going to hear anything from you. Or oh, you're going to be flayed so hard, you're going to, your mother's going to feel it. So anyway, what happened was, he summoned this boat, his hands going up above his head, flames coming out of them. It was so scary. Ah, oh, bloody hell, I am. Shut up, will you? Right, that's it. Guards, will you re reprimand this man? And you see the guards walk down the hallway. And no, break. leave him alone. And they, they start grabbing at you. He ain't done nothing wrong. Leave him alone. For fuck's yeah. sake. And they're, they're dragging you down the hallway. No, Do you mining. want to make any chance to resist um, Minoc? No. Minoc makes no um, attempt to resist as the guards drag him down the hallway. Grimald. That Minoc. No. Grimald. What? We will get out of this somehow. Well, just don't resist. Okay. Don't. I'm gonna plank. Grimmel, you're, and... you're being taken away as well. Okay, cool, yeah, I'm just gonna allow it as well then. Oh, you better be right, Minoc. Okay, yep, you, uh, Grimmel and Minoc are both taken away. As by... this happens, I'm gonna flip Jenkins the bird as I'm being pulled away. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, you pair of cunts. Anyway, basically, what happened was they, this giant boat came out of somewhere, and I see him summoning out of hell, and, and it was horrible, and I was crying, and I was really scared for my life, and it was horrible. Liar! You guys are thrown into a cell, Oof. and um, and then a few hours pass, and after a while, your lawyer Stumpy comes in, and he he, he comes in and he says, um, oh, boys, the trial didn't go well. You're I telling mean, me you didn't say a bloody word, Stumpy. You just sat there and let him rip us apart. Well, the thing is, you got to wait for your turn when the defence comes up, and you're allowed to then. You know, give a defence. That's when you defend yourself. Well, how am I bloody supposed to know? I've uh, been in many courtrooms. I can't. I can't help myself when someone's standing there lying, lying to the law. Well, you're not supposed to just shout out and say a bunch of stuff whenever you fucking feel like well, it. Well, thanks for the advice, Stumpy, beforehand. Hmm. Look, how does Stumpy, that make you feel? Be straight with us. Sure. Well, I can't. I gotta be honest. Um, it hasn't affected me winning streak. Oh, right. So, have we been? What? So is that it? Are we sentenced now? You've been sentenced with using black magic, yes. Uh, and what does that mean? As you well know, in uh, this area of the world, magic is illegal. So, um, here's how, it, is that how I got you. I got you a deal. A sweet deal. <coughs> Ew. I had a few drinks this morning. Um, so, the deal that I got you is this. 200 hours of community service. Right. Or, you can pick to have one of your limbs chopped off. Community service it is. Limbs or digit? Why are you even thinking? Of no, an entire limb, like um, an arm or a leg. No, no, because then I'd be counterbalanced and I'd fall over. Right, okay, no, t t community service it is then. What we got to do? See, the funny thing is about that is when the judge, he, he passed down the sentence, he said that that was kind of how I had to go and that nobody ever picks the limb. So <clears> he doesn't know why the, why the law is like that, but yeah. So, so you got 200 community, community service hours and all your gold. What? Yeah. Why, why, when, but what's, what's, what's that got to do with anything? Well, I guess they just want it. So all the gold that they took off you when they chucked you in prison, they're keeping it. Yeah, but but, but, but the good thing is just, every cloud has a silver lining, boys, because I get a cut of that. <laughs> you, you anyway, fuck it. See you later, lads. Get out of here. Spend right. more money, will ya? I'll find you, boy. Ain't your money. It's mine legally now, boys. We'll see you later. We'll see about that on the other side, mate. Go on, get out of here. Well, you got to spend a week in here. What, you said 200 hours community service? Where's this week come from? Well, they think you should cool off. Oh, well, I'm done with my temper's perfectly under control, mate. Well, I still feel pissed off. Well, yeah, that goes without saying, but listen, this time to cool off, as they say, I'm feeling pretty cool, quite focused. Focused on getting my money back. I've never had that kind of money before. And now, now it's gone. And we saved the bloody town. And what do we get for a thanks? We get thrown in the air. How is that fair? What the fuck? Shh, wait, mind. Who's this? Hello? 
Hello. Whistle. Hello. Um, you can hear one of the guards coming down the hallway, and this guy's name is David. And he just comes down the hallway, and he's like, um, you recognise this guy. He's the guy that's been giving you your food, food all week. And he's one of the nicer guards. And he's like, oh, hello there, boys. Morning, Dave. Hello, David. Well, it's uh, actually letting out time. <laughs> is it I really? I gotta say, I had my uh, doubts about you, little folk, but uh, getting to know you, I gotta say, it's been a pleasure. And uh, he puts the key in the door and opens up, and he's like, um, you know what, I never thought I'd say this, but it's a shame you guys have gotta go. Probably not for uh, for you, but uh, for me it is, because uh, I'm gonna miss the company. You guys uh, you guys do, uh, do all right out there, all right? And you look after yourselves. Thank you. Dave, i got to say, you've probably been one of the kindest people I've ever met. <laughs> oh, I just brought you the food. That's just me job there, fellers. But, uh, but, uh, you, 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 you look after yourself. Because, uh, it's gonna, it's a harsh world out there, and, uh, I know how it can be. I myself was buggered to sleep for nights out there when I was homeless. Well, you've been homeless before. I certainly was, uh, buggered to sleep every night I was. Oh, well, what? that sounds sad, but why are you here? Well, uh, I'm a, I'm a guard. You like that? How's that working out for you? No, I hate it, but it's much better than being buggered to sleep every night. Why don't you join us? You'll never be buggered again. Will it, Willie Minock? What? I no, no, I'd never go back to being homeless again. I was buggered to sleep every night. I don't want to be buggered to sleep every night again. Right. Oh, I'll, no. It, 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 clearly the buggering has left it long-lasting scars. Oh, no, no, I don't speak about it, of course, but, uh... Bugger to sleep, eh? Hey? Exactly. Every right. night. Every night. Oh. David, we're gonna go because um, it's getting a bit funny. Perhaps Don't we... forget to collect your belongings from the desk up there, except well, the gold, of well, course. Oh yeah, I was uh, the say. government had to keep that. I'm sorry about that. I don't make the rules, but of course, I was buggered to sleep every night. So you would know about that. Okay, bye, Dave. But Dave, bye. See, see you later, lads, and be careful. Sleep with your backs against the wall. There's people out there that will bugger you to sleep every night. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dave. See you later, lads. We haven't forgotten from the last time you told us. Cheers, mate. Goodbye. Bye. My eyes oh, wait, wait, guys. I got a present for you. Oh, okay, Dave, what is it? What is it? There's a new show in town. Yeah? Yeah, There's a, it's at a pub tonight. Me and the wife are going to go, but of course, uh, I've got to go to therapy tonight for being buggered to sleep every night. <laughs> And I forgot about it, and I booked two tickets for me and my wife to the show, so, uh, uh, you guys might as well have it. It's really, Dave? My. Yeah, it's in, it's in, uh, one of the local pubs, the Drunken Eel. How generous of you. Dave, yeah. do you know, it, despite the buggering, you're a good guy. Exactly, I don't let it affect me at all. I never speak about it. No, I know. But, uh, here's two tickets to see the show. It's, uh, some, some, uh, local act, uh, g by a guy called Tatterdamalian. It, it looks to be good. Some, some out of, out of town act. Should be really fun, but of course, I've got therapy tonight for being... Bucket to sleep, yep. Yep, 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 yep exactly. Night. Every night, okay. Yep. Okay, but I, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys. Best Gee. of luck, okay? Enjoy the show. Thanks, Dave. He's, he's a nice guy. Uh, he, he has problems, but we got tickets to do something normal. Is it once. is it music music collective? Oh, so you can see that it is for a puppet show. Puppet, <laughs> nice. Puppet show. What's that then? Well, you know, uh, puppets. No. Mm. No. I'm gonna. Can puppet. I can I slip? Can I slip off my gross sock? What be a puppet? Put my hand through it and then that move it stinks. like a sock puppet. Yes, um, so Minok, the dwarf, slips his hand through his sock. And how, what are you going to do with that? Oh, I'm just going to go. There's a snake. Wait, wait, wait. Don't move. There's a, there's a snake. <laughs> um, Hello. Oh, oh my, Minok is talking. Oh, yeah, me sock puppet. Hello, sock puppet. Um, well, as you can see here, this is my hand. No, it's clearly not. It's clearly a snake. <laughs> We've just been thrown in prison for doing magic and now you're popping puppet socks all over the place. And um, the guy at the reception where you've gone to collect your goods, um, he, he looks at you and he's like, Shit! A snake! So that's, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna I'm, Shit! I'm gonna... I'm, okay, no. In that case, I'll be like... Bye, put it away! Kill it! Do something! I'm gonna grab it with my so hand and try and snake it. Ah! <laughs> 
somebody get a crossbow? <laughs> wait a minute, wait. And I'm just going to like do the reveal where you, you turn the sock inside out by holding the tip. As you take the um, uh, as you take the sock off your hand, um, the bloke at the counter goes, <gasps> Black magic. Oh, bloody hell. Shit. It's oh. a sock puppet. No, mate, no. That was a snake, wasn't it? And the bloke at the counter's like, I don't know what that was, mate. But yeah. Look, he gives that stuff back, quick. He, he chucks your stuff over the counter. He's like, get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. even want to see black magic like that again. I'll show you something in a minute. Go on, let's go. So yeah, you guys run out of the hallway. You can see that the show starts in just a couple of hours. Mm. If you make your way um, over to the posh area of town now, to the Drunken Eel, you could make the show for a start. Yep, I think we would because we've just been locked up for ages. So. Yeah. yeah, so you can catch a nice show. Okay, so... Um, yeah, you you go over to the uh, drunken eel. It's a, it's a long old walk through town, good two hour walk. Um, but you've had enough owl gruel in um, in prison to, to give you the the energy to walk across across the city. And uh, when you get there, you see that you're woefully underdressed. And uh, the the guard um, looks at you, and um, she she looks you up and down and goes. <laughs> So it funny. Yes, I mean, uh, you do know that it's 80, 80 fanning bucks a ticket. Well, we've got a ticket each right here. Flick, flick, flash, flash. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, sirs, do you come in? Thank you. Um, as you come into the Drunken Eel, you can see that this is a very, very lavish pub. Um, everything is, is like made of um, a rich velour and all the people here are, are like very fat because they've eaten a lot of duck and um, a lot of um, plump uh, turkeys and things like this and people are just eating uh, the bar snacks and not your usual like nuts that everyone's touched after they've gone for a piss that people are eating like big legs of, of, of like lamb and things like this whilst <laughs> the fat and grease strips down their chin and people are drinking fine wines and stuff like this my belly's rumbling and a bloke walks up to you and he's like, oh, it's such delightful costumery. <laughs> I see you've come as a peasant. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, that is just delightful. My name is Erin Lean. Nice to meet you. No, nice to meet you, Erin Lean. My name is Grimald. I'm the owner of this establishment, and I just want to say I think it's wonderful coming in costume to an event like this. Well, well thank um, you. Thank you. Could I trouble you for one of your duck legs? Of course, it's only going to cost you 50 gold pieces. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we can settle up that at the end. We left our um, uh, we money back. We probably get, get to a seat. Oh, I know how it is. Go on, <laughs> Karen, grab one. Thank you very much. And of course, Help yourself to a vine as well. Indeed, I will. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, bloody, I must say, this is very, very good. Very nice. Oh, it's only the finest for my patrons. You know, we've got a lovely puppet show starting a minute. <laughs> but be wary. It can seem quite real. What? See, the other day, I put a sock on my hand, and my wife thought a snake had entered our room. Uh. <laughs> So where are you sitting? Oh, uh, yeah, we're uh, we're centre circle, uh, F two. Oh, that's my favourite seat. I'm actually F three, so I'll see you down there. Fantastic. Uh, yes, we will grab another beverage and we will be directly there. See you down there. But, but, yeah, bye. Yeah, mind it. Get quick. Get a duck leg before quick. it goes. Okay, you make your way down to the, th the main theatre, and you can see that a wooden puppet theatre has been erected here, its sides decorated with garishly colourful streaks of paint. A scrim of thin pale cloth hangs behind the theatre's proscenium, 
backlit by an unseen lantern. Standing before the theatre is a young, tow-headed lad dressed in ragged garb. Strips of faded coloured cloth are tied about his limbs and torso, giving him the appearance of a maypole left standing into winter. An eager smile brightens his narrow face like a rising horned moon. In a voice surprisingly resonant for his thin frame, the youth addresses the audience. Lords and ladies, Mrs. and Sirais, gaze upon a tale seldom heard even in the courts and manners of your betters. I bring you the story of daring deeds in far off places, of treasures long forgotten, and of benevolent despots eager to reward hired heroes, a tale whose origins lie in a time before time. With a deep bow, the ragged youth steps to one side, granting you a clear view of the stage. Silhouetted figures appear against the scrim, brought to life by a mixture of light, shadow and unseen puppeteers. The shadowy actors are grotesque in form, bearing misshapen torsos and an overabundance of limbs, but nevertheless possessing a strange regality. The silhouettes appear to be holding an audience as a prelude to a story waiting to be told. As you gaze upon the shadow puppets, an odd disquiet afflicts you. Your eyes swim with disorientation. You find yourselves growing light in body, and then suddenly experience a falling sensation, as if tumbling towards the theatre's arch. I don't like it. I don't like it. A bright mocking laughter rings in your ears before all goes black. The last words you hear are the youth's as he concludes his introduction. My friends, I give you the Court of Chaos! Your strange journey has cast you upon a great misshapen six-pointed star formed of darkest obsidian. Above you, the sky spins in a kaleidoscope of nauseous colour. Wells, I like it. I don't like it. <laughs> well, wells of putrid green, sinister red, depressing blues, and dirty yellow twirl like scrapes of clouds caught in a cyclone. The platform beneath you forms an island adrift on a hellish ocean. Churning waters of blood topped with pink breakers stretch on as far as your eyes dare gaze. Help. Don't like it. Help. Off in the distance, the ruined spires of antediluvian cities rise above the surface of the gory sea. From time to time, the wreckage of ancient galleys break the waves, thrown about by demonic eddies. Amongst the froth of the tide, you spy rotting faces screaming with eternal agony. Oh god, he's got a face in it! Uh, uh, Grimmel, I know this ain't right! Grimmel, are you seeing this? Of course I bloody am, mate! Hold me! Not well, right? Uh. At five of the star-shaped platform's points are thrones fashioned from bone, skin, and less identifiable substances. <sighs> Sitting in each is a nightmare made flesh. Titanic figures adorned with unholy finery and bearing horrible guises stare down at you with expressions that, amongst the more human of those faces, convey a witch's brew of malice, curiosity, and amusement. Scattered around the platform itself are groups of lesser creatures, some misshapen and some monstrous, others almost painful in their beauty. The attire of both courtiers and slaves is seen amongst them. Standing near you is the youth in tattered motley, his rags whipping about in the screams of the damned that is the wind in this place. He bows to you, one foot behind the other in the courtly grandeur. Sirrahs and miladies, he says with an endearing smile. Welcome, and allow me to present my masters, the host of chaos. And sitting on the throne, what you can see is a big um, sort of like diseased looking bloke um, who is just like loads of weird faces and diseases and shit. You can see a guy who has two arms for a face um, in oh, who, who's like yeah. who's wearing a gigantic <laughs> robe. Look at um, that one. Yep, you can see a sort of diseased looking zombie woman who's gigantic. 
You can see an eye with two stalks for legs. Eye, eye, look at him. You can see a gigantic man with two uh, sets of arms and wearing a big set of armor. And so that makes up the five hosts of chaos that you can see sitting on these chairs. And first up, the um, big bloke in the armor with the two sets of arms addresses you. Says, What's up, man? Uh, can I look around see if we can see any of the other audience there? No, you can't see any of the other audience there, except for you see the big, fat, unshapely whale blubber body of Owen Lean, who is just waking up behind you and is like, Whoa! Oh my! Is this your bloody puppy show, mate? <laughs> well, I won't be booking this act again! Look where we are. Where the bloody hell are we? How the hell am I? I? This wasn't part of the... When I signed the... I, that bloke's uh, wearing a cape made out of faces, for God's sake. What is this? Is there any duck? Uh, 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 <laughs> Pop it, show, he said. Shut <laughs> up! Oh. All of you! You're in my court now. Last week, you two killed a Chaos Lord. Who was a good friend of mine? Well, he wasn't a friend, more of an acquaintance. It was he was kind of annoying. Was Jeff? Kills a strong word. You well, you obliterated him using weapons. I would say that's sort of a killing. Well, I suppose we did any. Well, like he that. was <laughs> he was causing a nuisance. You see, he tried to us off cliff. Yes, yes, okay. It wasn't a cliff. It was a pyramid. And secondly, secondly, Jeff, he had his problems. Yes. Screw Jeff then. But yes. Good. But you don't just kill everyone you have a problem with. Yes, we are Chaos Lords, and yes, we do kill people that we have a problem with often, but you don't do it to everyone, specifically if they're really useful like Jeff was. Understood. Okay? Well, he was about to destroy our town. Yeah, he bloody threw us in jail to thank us. Look, we're not in the... B That's specifically why he was there. Anyway, my name is Newell, and I brought you guys here for a specific reason. You fucked one of my guys up, and now you're gonna do me a favor. Is that understood? Mm, what uh, is yeah. this favor? Do we have a choice, No. Yes, actually, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, what's so? Oh, yeah, do do what you say, or what? Or you um, see those faces over there in that hideous blood pool that <gasps> uh, uh, <gasps> you know the sea that this star currently floats on. Well, now you've pointed it out. Yes, I do. It's disgusting. Yeah, you could be one of those guys. Uh, oh, okay. Op option number one, I think, my knock. Yeah, probably. Keep my so, face on my face. Okay, so he unfurls a a scroll and he's like, I had to write this one down because you know I've, I've you're not the first band of adventurers we summoned to, to this. You're not even the first guys to have killed Jeff, if I'm being honest. Uh, so I, I wrote this down. <laughs> you have been summoned before the Court of Chaos, an honour given to few mortals. Circumstances in the multiverse. Is that right? And then you see the eye guy sort of nod. <laughs> and he goes, multiverse. Require the participate p participation oh, this is hard. Here, you read it. And he gives it to um, the zombie-looking lady. Yeah. And she says, Circumstances in the multiverse require the participation of its lesser creatures, and the court has decided you will serve our aims to this end. You are charged with the recovery of a potent artifact of Eld, known as the Yokeless Egg. Should you succeed in returning this object to the court, know that your services will be well rewarded. The host of chaos offers a small boon in return and a token of our esteem suitable for small mortal hearts and minds. Do you accept this charge? What's a what's a boon? A boon. Spoon. A boon. Uh, oh, is that? Uh, Look, we'll uh, give you something if you get the yokeless egg. Gotcha. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. we're in, we're in, we're in. Go and get the yokeless egg. Yes. Wait a minute. You say that this is happening egg. more than once. Yeah, what happened to the, uh, uh, What happened to all the other eggs? Before, before, guys. No, no, no. There's only one egg, but we tried to get other parties to to try and get it, and they died horrifically. Right. Uh oh. Oh. But better that than become one of those faces, right, guys? Uh, uh, he's got a point. Ooh, um... So it's either you face in the sea, or die horribly on an adventure. Precisely. Lovely. I've got a question for you, please. Where's the duck, Owen? No, wait, wait a, minute, wait a minute. I would really like some duck. I mean, this is a pretty horrible place. I have a question, actually, but sorry, Minoc, to cut you off there, but um, I would like a question, please. Will we be provided lunch on the journey? And you can see that the um, really diseased-looking um, host of chaos speaks up and goes... <laughs> 
And he goes, yeah, okay, okay, I, I sh- no more questions for me. Uh, uh, thank you, Owen. Um, yes, I've got a question. You see... Speak! I am, if you would let me. Speak! Yes, quite. Stop deliberating! Uh, mm-hmm. Mm. You mortals suck! Yes, mm. uh-huh. Well, you see... Mm. <laughs> Do you not think I have better things to be doing? Come on, my looks, bit out, mate. Sorry, I just I'm discovered a bit nervous. television. Oh. Um, right, so you want us to go on this quest for the yolk. Correct. Mm-hmm. No, the yolkless egg. Yeah, for fuck's sake, how many times do I have to repeat myself? For the eggless yolk, yes. Um, I'm going to kill you. Come on, my look. Can you perhaps give us a helping hand? You know, you are these... these. We're going to imbue your weapons with chaos. Is that a good thing? Yes. Brilliant, I think. Yeah. So yes, we are going to help you. See, usually when you go to a lawful dude and you ask them for help, they say, No, require your weapons on the job. Is this not correct? We're going to give you, make your weapons all swirling and black and cool and shit. We get, well, we don't really do much dealings with good folk. So yes. That's probably a good thing, really. I can tell by the look of you. See, Jeff, he was a good guy. Well, Chaotic, Jeff- but he was pretty cool. If you got to know him, he throws a good party. Well, no, Jeff you just go up, and go up to his pyramid and smack him in the bonds. Well, Jeff, Jeff was Jeff didn't really start the conversation off very nicely. No, and, and like we said before, he wanted to destroy our city. Perhaps it was a misunderstanding. Tell Jeff if you see him in the underworld or wherever it is that he's residing. Uh, Soz, you can see that the guy with the hands for a face speaks up, and he goes, um, "The thing about Jeff is that um, actually um, he was um, he was my lover." <laughs> Look, I told you not to speak. See, when we're trying to sound intimidating, your voice is very embarrassing. <laughs> stop it, stop laughing. I, 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 I was not laughing. I have got something in my throat. <coughs> yeah, I think it's contagious. So do I. <laughs> stop, stop it. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> anyway, you were saying... Well, uh, Je- apologies to Jeff and, and his girlfriend over there. Could we have cool black weapons, like you said, with cool chaos stuff? I already said I was going to do it. We'll do it tomorrow when you leave. Okay. Any other questions? I'm bored of you two. Uh, uh, n- uh, no, not from me. Mind it. You want to say something, mate? Uh, 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 so you're saying that you're going to go on the mission, you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you got to do? Ah, we ain't got nothing else to do, why not? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to be a face in I don't the want sea, to be a. I don't want to be a sea face. No, sea face. No, no. A shouting sea face. Yeah. Yeah, they swore at me when we was coming in. It was it was horrible. I didn't like that at all. Well, okay. Uh, Tattered Malian will be showing you to your quarters um, for the night. So, go have some sleep. Piss off. Yep. But just as you guys start walking off, Owen lags behind and he's like, "Um, just one little question." Do I have to participate? I'm not the fighting type. I'm more the litigations and paperwork type. And Silence! <laughs> I will imbue your pen with chaos. <laughs> Come on, Owen. You wet weekend. Come this way. <laughs> Come on, me old son. Okay. I'll put my arm around it. Is it. How tall is he compared to me? He's about twice your height. Okay, I'm going to put my arm around his like, knee and be like, Come on, mate. Okay. And you guys are showed to your quarters for the night by Tata Damalian, who cool. is the ragged uh, youth. Mm-hmm. And he's like, Come, here are your quarters for the night. Um, This is, and in you, you see an inn just sprout up out of the, out of the ground. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. The, the inn is called um, Tata Damalian's Lovely Pub. <laughs> and uh, it just it is, for all intents and purposes, just a windowless inn. Okay. And you guys go in, and you you um, don't have any beds on there. You're just sleeping on the floor for the night. And he's, he he sort of he almost just shoves you in, and he just goes. Um, he's like, "Well, good night." Wait, wait, wait. Ta, ta, ta de Malian. Yep. Before you shoot off, mate. What? Any chance of uh, wetting my whistle, maybe, with a bit of a grog? It isn't in long. Any booze? Boozy, oozy, oozy, makes me work better, makes he me sleep points, better. He points to a room. Yep. And he just goes, go and have a look in there. On it. Thanks, mate. Do we have any beds? Um, 
you see him searching around in his pocket and he pulls out and just you see his middle finger come out he's like oh there's a bird I got a bird no right show me snake quick oh uh, no I don't show me pet snake no, that's shit him I don't, I don't think he'd fall for, I'm gonna do it anyway fall for what I you got a red bloody snake in I don't think he'd fall mate. for it and as I'm saying that I'm just gonna you know like take a shoe off and, <laughs> and then just like hold so, it up real quick and be like aha so okay you. so you get you get your um, what do you think of that Okay, so Grimald obviously believes the snake is real, but Minoc does the snock sock puppet trick, and Tatterdemalion, obviously being the master of a puppet show, just looks at it with a blank, expressionless face, and he just goes, he shrugs his shoulders and goes, What am I supposed to make? Um, it's a heckin' snake, mate! You've trained it really well, Minoc, go and get it to bite him or something. Bloody idiot. Um, Tata Zemanian just walks off dejected, shrugging his shoulders, <laughs> shrugging his shoulders and shaking his head. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll just put it back on my foot. Look, put it away before it hurts someone. The door disappears behind you. Oh. Um, but in that room, I mentioned before, there is a feast with whatever you guys want. Your your dream food. God, the boy, see. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> so what would you like to be on the table? Um, for Owen, there is a the most biggest lavish like Roman type feast yep. on there. Yeah, can I can I can I get like an owl kebab? Yeah, so there's an owl kebab just Ooh, off to the I've side. heard about these. So it's like a Roman feast and then just off to the side there's a there's an owl kebab. Yeah, and um I'm I'm gonna go for a traditional roast that um is similar to my posho days. Oh yeah, oh, so from yeah. back when um, Minoc was rich. Well, from way back when. Oh yeah, there you go, goose. Okay, yeah, so Grimald, you get... Bloody hell was that, mate? So, so Grimald gets his al kebab and Minoc gets his traditional roast. And you see Owen, just the big fat Owen, sitting down with his uh, <laughs> with his uh, gigantic feast. And he's like, nobody's having any of this. This is only one portion. Mm. I'm... <laughs> all right, greedy cats, I'm all right. I've got my al kebab, mate. Shut up. Um, Minoc's just going to start weeping at the sight of his food because mm-hmm. he hasn't eaten anything this good or perfectly What's the matter, my knock? <laughs> Why are you crying? It reminds me You lost your snake of when I always ate this <laughs> Oh, here we go again <laughs> You have to excuse him, Owen He talks a lot of shit Try some I know, his, his food is rubbish compared to mine I'd be crying if I was him too Shut up, lean Let me try, try, try some, Grimald <laughs> Oh, what is it? It's like butter in my mouth. It's goose. Goose, goose. It's beautiful. Try a bit more kebab. <laughs> okay. Not a lot. That's it. That's it. That's all you can have. It's my favourite. Mm. Oh, pretty decent, I must right? Say, that's pretty. That's pretty oh, no. good compared to what we've been eating recently. Huh? It's true. True. Our kebab. Bloody. Goose, whatever this is, I've made it, it, mate. Minoc's going to share his food uh, with with Grim. Yeah, All same. Right. Sweet. Yeah, you guys have a decent feast, and uh, you're you're very very well fed oh, on a oh, day. Oh. And like immediately after eating, Owen is asleep under the table. <laughs> <laughs> And um, then you two are, um, y- you can go to sleep if you like also. Is there anything left over on Owen's feast? Oh yeah, plenty. Can we yeah, bag yeah, it up? Yeah, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, can we try and see if we can... Yeah, Minor, if, can... if he's sleeping, should we take his food? Bloody, yeah, you can just bloody put, right. Put, put five portions of rich food in your inventory <laughs> each. Oh yes. As you sleep for the night, something's gonna happen. Uh, James? Uh, who is playing Minoc? I want you to leave the room, please, so I can talk oh, to Oh, the actual driver. real room. Uh-oh. Yeah, this room. See you in a bit. So, Nick, what is Grimald's alignment, please? Uh, Grimald is neutral. Um, you are you well, as you sleep at night. Mm-hmm. You get a vision mm-hmm. from Newell, who is the big bloke with the forearms and the armor, the main one, cool. who was talking to you, um, who seemed to take charge, uh-huh. right? And he 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 visits you and he says, "Listen, yes." I, I have a, I want to suggest a deal to you. Oh, I'm listening. One thing you must understand about me is that I'm a fair man. Mm-hmm. But, um, the egg. Yeah. It is a very powerful thing indeed, and I require it for my own gain. Right. See, my colleagues, they're good, but uh, they don't know really what to do with the egg once they retrieve it. They're good guys, but one of them's an eye on legs, you know. <laughs> I didn't know he'd say, yeah. And so, this dream 
Heed its words. Bring it back to me, and I will reward you with something. Or even more than the original reward. Yes. I like it. I reward you with something very special. The Sword of Chaos. Sword, eh? And the Vortex Helm. Blimey, that sounds fun. Now, I will not tell you what they do at this moment, but just know that these things are very powerful artifacts, so make sure that your friend does not get it. And when you get it, and you bring it back to the star, give it to me and me only. And I become powerful. And you will become very powerful. Powerful Grim. Yes, I can see it now. Consider it done. Now sleep, my child. (sighs) All right, now Nick. I need you to leave the room and James to come in. What is Minox alignment, please, James? Uh, he's lawful. Okay, so, just before um, you Grimald wakes up, you notice that he's in a deep slumber and he is murmuring something to himself that you can't make out. However, you are visited by a woman. A woman that I mentioned earlier, but you noticed when you were in on the star, right? She is a, a sort of like gold, gold woman who, who is just, um, uh, like she, her, her entire body is gold and she's wearing these kind of like um, uh, blue robes, right? And she's in the inn in the morning. She wakes you up, but doesn't manage to make Grimald up because he's in this deep sleep. And she's performing some tasks, you know, cleaning the inn and blah, blah, blah. And she approaches you and she's like, My look. Uh, uh, who are you? Look, um, I'm here because I'm a, a spy. R- right. I know we're in the, the realm of, of chaos, but I managed to get here. Um, I'm I'm a, from the plane of law. R- right. And... I, 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 I managed to detect that, that you are, of course, lawful, and if you help me to get the, the Yokeless Egg, and, and when you retrieve it, do not give it to them. What they, they want to do with it is extremely, extremely bad, and so do not give it what, to them. Give what it. is it? Does it go against my town? It will go against everything that we've ever known. Mm. Minuk, it, it is is awful. It is a, a terrible thing that they are going to use for, for grim purposes. So you want me to get the um, egg to you? Yes, exactly. Once you give it to me, I will ensure that you get back to your town and that it is not used for evil. And we, I, I will make sure all three of us get back safe and sound. It is the, it is the only, it is the only way. But you cannot tell your colleague about this. Mm. I do not trust him. But he's, he's my friend. He may be your friend, but. Trust me on this one. Do not tell him. I don't like secrets. But if this is the only way, Minoc. It is the only way in this situation. I believe that there is something afoot here. Just keep the secret until the end. Hey, go away. This is all the time I have. Go and away. She sweeps into the corner of the room, leaving you. Okay, and then you notice um, sort of Grimald waking up. Oh, hey. Morning. Oh, morning. M- morning. <laughs> Ooh. All right, Owen. Morning. M- oh, um, acid reflux. Oh dear. Um, in the morning, you're visited by Tatter Damalian, who um sort of gives you your your mission briefing. Here he is, so, Tatters. Morning, my friend. Am yes. I? So, all you need to do is go over and see the uh, the hosts once more time. Once more time. Once more time. We see. And yeah. they will transport you over to the plane of law. Once there, you will see a giant floating diamond of some sort, I believe. And then there will be a rose, a disgusting, rotten rose. You can use this to return back to the plane of chaos. Now, all you need to do to do this is pluck it from the ground and you will return here. The egg is, is somewhere within that giant diamond. Is that understood? Yes. Egg in the diamond. Pick up the rose. Egg and diamond, yes. Egg, okay. diamond, rose. Now, go and see your hosts. Fine. Okay, so you head over to the um, to the hosts, and uh, Newell speaks up, and he says, um, "Okay, is everyone ready?" Wink. Yep. Yeah. 
We are. Why, why did you say wink? It's just an encouraging wink. Goodbye, everyone. No. And he swells his hand up, and then your weapons suddenly float up into the air, and they are imbued with this blackness, swirling miasma. And you see Owen's Whoa. pen come out of his pocket, <laughs> and he just and he's like, "Could I not have a better weapon?" No. Um, and then the maddening vista of the Court of Chaos vanishes in a cloud of ebon smoke reeking of the pungent odour of decay. The vapour clears just as abruptly, leaving you standing on a hill of emerald grass beneath a shining sun. Each blade of green is exquisitely manicured, more fitting for a lord's garden than a valid meadow. Owen suddenly speaks up. Woo! Lovely! Around you, the grass stretches as far as the horizon, which bisects the earth and the sky with razor-straight precision. Only a few distant copses of idyllic trees growing in perfect harmony with the landscape break the carpet of pristine green. A pure golden sun rises high in a perfect azure sky untouched by clouds. With your unobstructed view of the land around you, you swiftly notice the perfection of nearly everything your eyes light upon. Each tree grows straight and tall, its branches and leaves all paragons of order and correctness. No blade of grass bears the slightest tint of yellow. No small stone is jagged and chipped. A single blemish is present in the flawlessness around you. At your feet grows a solitary rose. Its eight crooked petals discoloured by rot. Its vibrant red faded to a smoky pink. A squirming worm gnaws at the heart of the rose's blossom. This can only be the flower that will ensure your return to the court of chaos. Below your hilltop vista, high above a perfectly circular bowl surrounded by flawless knolls, is a tremendous form of a gleaming flawless diamond. The mountainous lozenge hangs in the air like a raindrop halted in mid-fall. The bottommost tip suspended a short distance above immaculate grass. This can only be the cataphract you seek. The large recumbent form of some great beast rests directly beneath it. I've never seen such beauty. I have. <laughs> My. I've this... got like five of those at home. But look, look at everything. It's in. It's all in perfect order. Oh come on, have ye not gardeners? Oh, um, this what? is nothing. I've got about five of these fields at home. Shut up, Owen. No one likes a show off. I'm yeah, not go showing on, off. It's just a fact, yo. If you don't, we can do. Stab me with your pen. No, I'm right. We'll stab who? What? That write, me an in, write me an angry note. Hang on. Can anybody make out what that beast down there is? Uh, no. Uh, give, both, give me a perception roll. Grimmel got a nine. Mine got a four. Oof. Okay, yeah, you can't really see what it is, except that it's sort of like, at this distance, just sort of like a brown blob. Just a bit of a brown blob. It's mine at all. Not mine, look silly. Mine at all. Uh, oh. Um, hmm. What are you getting, Owen? It's like a bull, like a bipedal bull. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm going to pick pluck this rose. I'm no, don't, 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 Okay, yeah, you grab him and pull his arms back, and he's like, All right, all right, I wasn't really going to do it. That's the rotten one. If you pull that, we pop straight back out, go see Armour Boy, and if we come back empty-handed, we then become faces in the sea. Do you want that? Um... So we need to concentrate, get this poxy egg, and get out of here. Ugh. So, minor toy, you say. Can they be chopped up with an axe? Well, right. you can chop up anything with an axe. Indeed I can, especially when you got two. Right, Minot, what do you reckon, mate? Are we going to go over to this Minot or...? Well, I suppose it, it, it's the only way in, right? Well, I think so. What did Chaos Boy say? Stuff. Yeah. Just get the egg. He get said just egg. go in, get the egg. Above the Should diamonds. Be easy. It's probably just on a shelf. Just buy it. That's how you do most things, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's for some of us. Look, let's, let's head upon yonder towards Diamond and worry about the Minotaur when we arrive. How about that? You walk towards the Minotaur and, um, yeah, he, he goes, um... Yo, what's up? Welcome to this place. Don't try to enter or I'll smash you in the face. Oh, hi, oh, great oh, Minotaur. Oh, good, it's a Rhymotaur. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh, Minotaur. 
Will you please open the door? That ain't gonna happen, because if you try to enter, your face gonna get blackened. I see. Monik, you got anything for him? Please, could you let us th through? Because we'd rather not do to you what you would do to us if we cannot defeat you. And I really need a poo. Yeah, it's a, it's a good rhyme? Dank rhymes. You don't need to speak in rhyme. That's my particular curse. But the fact of the matter is, is that your rhymes are the worst. Well, there's no need to get personal. Look, just please, in that case, just stand aside. We've got very pressing matters to attend with. Yeah, yeah, we're looking yeah, for the H, mate. I can't do that. I'm tasked with guarding this place. So I have to stand here. Oh, and no, wait a minute. You can still guard it. It'll be guarded. You will still hit be guarding you with my it. mace. We don't mean to get in your face, but we really need to get on and pick up our pace. Why am I bloody rhyming? I told you you don't need to rhyme. I quite like So it. if you'd please go away, I've got better things to do with my time. Well, I won't rhyme. Okay, we will go away, but uh, this way? What would you say if we uh, told you we had a pocket snake? Please enlighten me as to what you are talking about. Please take this pocket snake out. Yeah, Have you got really? Can I <laughs> like um, crouch down and face away and try and somehow, um, if possible, try and do like a like a rummage? So it looks like I'm getting out, but I'm actually getting. Well, I'm getting out, but I'm getting my shoe off sock and off. putting the sock on my arm instead. Minoc, give me a agility roll. Yeah. To try and do this without uh, very quickly, so it, it's sort of like a sleight of hand thing. Hey. Fifteen. Okay, let's see if he sees you doing it. Yes, he does. I can see you with my eyes. You're doing something sneaky over there. That's the kind of thing I despise. Turn around and face me, fool, because I wish to have an adult discussion. Turn around and face me before I give you a concussion. All right, um, question. Have I successfully got the sock on my hand? Yeah, you've got it on your hand. Oh, he good. saw you do it. Okay, He good. knows it's a sock puppet. He's not scared by it at all. He just goes, man... I know that is the puppet of the sock. So stop mucking around, stop being a cock. If you have any business, then you best tell me now because I am a mad, angry motherfucking cow. We seek the egg. Oh boy, it's I'll on put, motherfuckers, time to get bashed. On. Now you will face my sword, it's time to get slashed. Um, roll initiative please. <laughs> uh, Minek says, um, so it shall be. And then goes for a uh, axe attack. Five. Your axe swings through the air, um, just cutting off a bit of his fur. Not again. And then it's going to be Owen's turn. He lunges forward um, and he's like, Look, I really want to go home! And he swings with his pen <laughs> and he just um, draws a slight line across his chest. <laughs> Next up is going to be Grimald. Bloody hell! You, I've got to really work on your two's attacks. Watch how it's done. I'm going to pull my two hand axes from behind my back sheath, chop and choppier, and I'm going to just jump in the air and uh, try and take the Minotaur to chop down. That's a seven and five, damn it. You Go. fly through the air, soaring past the Minotaur, <laughs> flapping your arms wildly, missing both attacks, and then he just goes, You love can't hit for shit. So let me show you how I do it. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Man, that good rhyme. <laughs> and then he swings round with a sword in one hand, a mace in the other. And he goes to swing for both of you. And um, he swings first of all for Minoc, missing. And then he swings for Grimald with the other... Hitting Grimald immediately, and he does two damage to you, mate. Oh. Uh, take that, fool. Looks like you no need to go back to the taking damage school. <laughs> and then um, it's going to be Minoc's turn. Bloody hell, do leave us alone, you fool. And then I'm going to yeah, just axe attack. Unnatural 20. <laughs> take that. Four. Mm. Four damage. Yeah, your axe um, sort of buries into his chest, and then you you just yank it back out, and he, and he, and he goes... Argh. You have not proved yet that you are the best, but you have made a crater in my chest. And then um, Owen comes up and he's just like, Right, I see how it's done. You have to actually hurt them. 
and he goes for a pen attack, and he actually manages to hit. Oh, he does one damage, stabbing the pen into the Minotaur's shoulder. But unfortunately, he doesn't manage to wrench the pen free. So now he's just going to be attacking with um, with his fists. But the pen is now stuck into the Minotaur's shoulder. Next up is going to be Grim. Poisoning. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be like, right. Ignore that first one. My knock, much better. Well done. That's a nice slash down his chest. Now let me go for the crisscross. Ali ali oop. 13 for the first one. Hit. And uh, 6 for the second one. Uh, that's a free for damage, mate. Yeah, your first attack hits, um, doing three damage, and your second one misses. Yeah, and it hits into his um, leg this time. So he's getting slashed from all sides because obviously Owen's quite a tall guy and you guys are quite short, but you're hitting him from all different angles here. And um, it's really, really like like hurting him quite. Cut kind of down to size. Um, next up, he's going to take his turn, and he's like, "Who put this pen into my shoulder? I'm going to come down on you with the force of a boulder!" And he turns to Owen and tries to swing at him, and misses. And then he, oh god! <laughs> and then he goes to swing at Minoc, fumbling. He accidentally <laughs> strikes himself. <laughs> He yes. does two damage to himself, oh. um, and he just goes, Ah! I've hit my own self in the face. Looks like I should teach myself how to use the mace. <laughs> and next up is going to be Minoc. <laughs> uh, take this. Snake, uh, snake eyes. I fumbled it. Your weapon becomes entangled in your armor. You must spend the next round untangling it. In addition, your armor is reduced by one until you spend ten minutes refitting all the untangled buckles and straps. Next up is going to be Owen. Um, he goes to punch. And he fumbles as well. <laughs> no, no. Um, Pulls let's a muscle. see what happens to him. <laughs> Owen immediately fumbles and um, punching a rock. I forgot my contacts. <laughs> And his, his hand is just a mangled oh. mess. And he's just like... <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Oh, my hand. Um, he's, he's just utterly mangled. He's like, I thought... It, I forgot to put my contacts in there. You left-handed or right-handed? I don't know. Oh. I can't remember the pain. Oh, God's sake. Next bloody up is, is going to be grim. Right. Uh, that's a 15 and a 17 for the second. F some of this. Okay, so yeah, two hits, roll damage. Seven damage, mate. You have felled this beast. You smash into him with both of your axes, taking him down immediately, and you just see him go, um, you have killed me to the max. You have killed me with two X. Oh that man, I can't rhyme because I'm dying, man. Your rhymes all suck, mate. It's the worst curse I've ever heard. Oh man, I'm dying, man. Yep, then now shut up and die. And then you just see him limply just fall to the floor. And uh, yeah, he smells like beef. I'm going to turn around and go, anyone for Minotaur cheeks? Um, yeah, you're going to cut off some Minotaur cheeks? Yeah, man. Okay. Uh, just um, lost a six. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, the roll is quite bad. So yeah. Um, oh, I've made the right mess. So yeah, you you just make a, you just hack his face to pieces. Uh, we're after you. Sorry, guys, no cheeks tonight. As he dies, a um, stairway of shining silver light appears, flowing down from the bottom tip of the cataphract Hello. to the ground below. And Owen's like, "Can anyone do anything about my hand?" Ah. Let me have a look at it. I'm gonna go and inspect Owen's hand. See it what he's done a, to it's a mangled mess. Of we bone like, is it like? Is it like? Is it like a literally a loose bag of bones? Yeah, pretty <laughs> okay. much. Yeah. Um, uh, is there any kind of um, okay? Can I um, try and um, to try and at least like stint it a little bit, try and support it, get a bit of wood, wrap it around with a sure. bit of armor? Um, give me an intelligence roll for that because this would be sort of a knowledge of healing. Cool. Five. You you've obviously been healing yourself on the streets for a long yeah. time, um, but for some reason your knowledge has failed you this time, and you've actually made it work. <laughs> um, so you just grab the hand and start mashing it about, and he screams like a little girl. <laughs> No, I'm fixing it. You see him faint on the floor. Oh, um, shit. You, you do a further three damage to him. <gasps> um, he's very, very close to death. He, he, you see him go white and faint onto the ground. He's now laying in the grass um, like a big sack of up, upset jelly. Minor, I think I've made it worse. He, Wait a second. Can I um, for, grab the pen? Minor, uh, <laughs> oh, out of the Minotaur. Out the Minotaur. Yeah. 
Yeah, no, I don't know. Just get him comfortable <laughs> and see if we can... Uh, like prop him up on a rock and put his bed in Yeah, his see hand. if we can kind of, you know, just sort of rest him or bring him to. Or like, you know, come back to him in a minute. You know what I mean? Well, you want to take five, sit down, see if this sorry sack of spuds yeah. comes back round. I'd like to... Actually, I'd like to take ten minutes um, fixing my <laughs> armour. Oh, yeah. So it goes back up to... Uh, yeah, you can take ten minutes to fix your armor. All right, while 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 um, while uh, Mynik's doing that, I'm going to try and prop um, tro- prop Owen up, um, try and get him in a comfortable position, and also retrieve his pen and put it back in his pocket for him. You um, give Owen his pen back, put it in his hand, mm-hmm. and prop him up. Yep. And then in the meantime, Mynik fixes his armor and gets it gets it all you know put on back and straight. Yep. And uh, during, in, during these ten minutes, you see him sort of come to, and Owen he's like, "Who am I?" <laughs> You punched Ooh. a boulder, mate. Did I? Oh, oh my hand. Yeah. My beautiful hand. Yeah. How will I pleasure the ladies now? My wife. That should be the last of your worries, mate. You're in the bloody another dimension or something. Oh yes. So I am. Uh, on the on the plus side, we killed a uh, beast boy over there. Lads, I would say that I, I would I would stay here, but we've got work to do. Uh, do you think you can make it? Can you walk? Drag it up. I, I can walk. I, I need not my hand to walk, but um, I've got important work to be doing. Yep. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Onwards. You walk up the stairs, and as you as you enter, um, you can see that the shimmering stairs rise up to an end in a pentagonal chamber. Soft silvery light from an unseen source bathes the room in artificial moonlight. The room is fashioned from pink marble veined with white striations that glitter in the mystical glow. Above you, the chamber soars, terminating in a sea of celestial light a hundred feet overhead. Each wall of the room holds a single door wrought from gleaming gold, their faces inscribed with elegant runes. You can see that each door is actually numbered with uh, like a rune that that, that you know um, is a number, Mm -hmm. essentially. And they obviously have an order to them because... Uh, the one uh, inscribed with a number one um, that has the room for creation on the door opens in front of you and Owen says ladies first sorry I'm feeling a bit woozy <laughs> good one Owen right got it oh lead we're going in number one we're going to have number ones please well the door is open yep like it you can't actually see in the room. It's just sort of like a sort of glowing, f- like golden and white fog that, okay. that, that um, envelops the door as it opens. Would you like to enter? Yeah. In, I'm in there. In an eye blink, you find yourselves in a room of darkness. A column of light illuminates a single object within a chest sized cradle shaped container of glass. In the bed of the cradle is a small portion of lumpy material. This substance is grey and lifeless, but tiny motes of light sparkle within it. A voice speaks in the darkness, old and severe. It speaks directly to each of you, speaking in the tongue of your birth. At the beginning of time, the gods have brought life to the world. Behold, the last piece of divine matter from (laughs) which the Eternals wrought their creation. Embrace your inner divine spark and walk in the footsteps of the gods or await the end of their creation within these walls. But Did you hear that in your head? Yes. Or was it just me? No, I heard it. Owen, did you hear that? Huh? Did you hear something? I'm feeling woozy. No. I thought it was a hallucination. Okay, you that did. That material in the sconce over yonder. What is it? Some sort of... Mm. Play-Doh! It looks disgusting. I'm not touching it. It's probably in an ooze. We need to check it out though, it's the only thing in this room. Ladies first! Alright, fine, fine. I'm gonna walk over to it and have a look at it. Miney, my, come and have a look at this shit. Hmm. 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 Interesting. I'm gonna sniff it. Not sniff it up, just sniff it. Go. It, it smells, smells of anything. It smells uh, like clay. Um, but it has sort of a... Um, like an essence to it, like freshly cut grass or the smell of a newborn baby. It's um, it's it's almost uh, it's it's almost beautiful. The smell. It smells wonderful. Yeah. Oh. Well, I didn't expect it to smell as good as it does. Perhaps I should touch it. I'm gonna just uh, yeah, just prod it with my finger, with my index finger. 
As Grimu pr prods it with his index finger, he feels that it is warm and potent, even wholesome to the touch. It feels better than it smells. Okay. Put your hand in, my look. Oh, yeah, I'll go for a, for a finger poke. Yeah, you poke it as well, and the, 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 the luscious squelch feels like the... Uh... It feels great, doesn't it? Almost divine. <laughs> All right, then, let me have a go. And Owen walks up and he just gives it, he, he like, he has his uh, forefinger and middle finger extended and his little finger, but his ring finger is um, is, is, the, is the only one that's distended. And he just goes in and he just starts jabbing at it like that and he's yeah. like, this is the only way I know how to poke a thing. He just starts ramming it like really hard. Like, it, all right, all right, Owen, calm down. What? It's you like, look like a man possessed. I, I don't know. I don't know what came over me. Why did that funny glare come over your face? I'm when sorry. You doing I'm sorry. That? It's just the noises it made when you prodded it reminded me of something. I don't know. Leave that there. Anyway, what are we supposed to do with it? And you see that um, at the back of the room, suddenly this um, stained glass window um, lights up, and it's it's it depicts like a sunrise, and this sunrise starts going up. I'd like you both to give me an intelligence roll, please. Three. Seventeen. Oh, thank God. Grimald knows that in about ten minutes, this sunrise depiction will be uh, risen. Okay. Uh, that thing over there is moving, which suggests to me that soon it will have finished moving and will become complete. I think we better hurry up. As lovely as this is, fondling this matter... It doesn't seem to be doing much in the way of continuing our quest, Minoc. I'd rather be fondling a real woman. I haven't had a real woman for years. Right, Just enough chat of this. Anyway. Let's figure this out. Hmm. Well, the fondling's doing nothing. How big, is, how big is the thing? Um, the, bit, the bit of clay is probably about the size of, a, of like, um, a loaf of bread. Okay. Yes. Can I put, um, can Minoc, uh put both his hands either side and sort of like um, s squish it inwards and outwards like an accordion? Yeah, yeah, you do that and, uh, well, it certainly, certainly moves, yeah. Um, squishing about like an accordion, yeah. Is it, can you tear pieces off of it? Of course. Okay, I'm going to tear two pieces off, roll them into balls and put them in front of my eyes, but look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Owen is like... <laughs> Very amusing. Anyway. <laughs> what a jolly time. What about if I put two little bits on top of each other? Now it looks like a small turd. It does. Anyway. Oh, Owen's like puerile. Mm. Less you, amusing than the eyes. You can you, do something better, can you? Need, well, it needs work. I mean, if you were to um, play at my pub when we get back, the drunken eel, um, pints are only, are only eight eight gold pieces a piece, um, well, then you're going to need to get a better act, you see, Grimald. The thing is, what, what we require is high-class things, you know. You're good, then you do something better. How right, can you well, do better I'll than the eyes? Some of this. And he gets a piece of it, and he rolls it out in a long thing, and he's like, look at this, hiss, hiss. It's a snake. Ah, get out away from me. No, it's not real. You see, it's an illusion. I've made a snake out of clay. Oh, yeah, like like, 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 like bloody Minoc ain't got a pet snake in his pocket. You know I don't like snakes. It's pretty nice, though. But keep it away from this me. This is. What do you think, Minoc? <laughs> Lovely. Better than mine. Yeah, I'll put these eyes that I made onto that snake. Ha. <laughs> ha. Yeah. As you put the um, eyes onto the snake, you can see that the, um, the door opens um, <laughs> to the chamber and you can hear the voice you have passed the first trial we've done it what? you, you what? have walked in the footsteps of the god and created life from the clay creating a lovely snake well done and then Owen's like what? <laughs> yes <laughs> that was a stupid trial yes <laughs> we've done it <laughs> I knew my eyes would come in handy brilliant can we can we keep keep our creation oh Wise voice. No! Oh, okay. I like it, it's cute. Okay, fine. Leave it there, right? Goodbye, hissy. Come in, team. Let's continue our quest. We seem to be on a roll. As you go back to the uh, the middle chamber, you can see that the next door is open and it bears two runes. The rune for uh, number two and the rune for construction. Would you like to go in? Yes. Okay, a moment of disorientation afflicts you, then you find yourself in a uh, massive... Uh, uh, 
you find yourself in a massive space defined by walls of solid iron and burnished rivets. <laughs> the iron floor beneath you bears no rust or wear. The chamber, lit by a glow from sources unseen, measures nearly 300 foot long and 150 foot wide. Midway across the room, a 100 foot long gap bisects the chamber. Wisps of clouds rise from the hole in the floor. On the far side of the chamber is another doorway, identical to the one that brought you here. Standing between you and the break in the floor are six delicate stands fashioned from crystal. Atop each is a fluted glass of liquid. Now, in these glasses are the following things. They are um, liquids filled with tangerine liquid, crimson, azure, gold, emerald and plum liquids. Look at all those colours. Lovely. Um, Owen, why don't you sample this uh, fine wine? Give me a um, personality roll, please, to see if you can convince him to s- just drink this random dungeon potion. A six. <laughs> well, let's see if he, he falls for it. He actually does. <laughs> <laughs> um, fine wine, try it out. He, but he's like, but so many to choose from. Which one should I go for? Well, um, all right, let's do it. Let's do this. Really. We could do this in a very, very scientific, technical way, black magically way. Uh, what's your favourite colour? Purple, really? Well, I would say to try the plum one. He immediately goes up and takes a drink of it, and you can see that um, he just goes, oh, and looks really sad. And he goes, it's all so bloody pointless, isn't it? Everything. It's all so bloody rubbish. Everything. I mean, I mean, I mean, I know I'm attractive. I know, but like, isn't it all so rubbish? All the houses, all the women. I just hate it all. I oh, bloody hell! What's this? What? What is that potion? I just, uh, I just don't think that. Actually, I don't think I'm talented in any way. Oh. Tell you what, you are talented in. You're talented at sipping. So, do you to try another glass? And you made a great. I don't snake. know. I don't know that there's any point in trying another glass. I mean, what's the point? We're never going to get the Neoclus egg. We're never going to. Oh, we're getting one. nowhere. Right. I'm going to have one. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll walk up to another one as well. Minoc will. Okay, uh, which one are you going to drink, Minoc? Uh, uh, can you recall the colours to me again? Yeah, tangerine, crimson, azure, gold, emerald, and plum. Gold. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. As you drink the gold potion, um, you sweat sunlight from your skin, and the, um, the the light sweating from your skin is so bright that ten feet around you, um, you you're just you, you just got this like oh, massive, massive like bright uh, blinding light. <laughs> Mine, you've become a sun. I feel, I feel hot. I can't even see you. You're like a like a divine being. Yeah, you look like a divine glowing being at this point. I've. <laughs> oh my wow. god. Wow. Go stand in the corner. It's too bright. I'll do that. I'll move. I'll just be in awe at me glowing. You're too bright, mate. Yep. Now Minek walks over to the corner, just glowing in the corner. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh my god, this is awful. Right, my turn. Um, I'm going to grab the uh, ruby one and have a, 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 a swig of that. You um yeah you go up and drink the uh, the 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 red drink and mm. uh, yeah you, you feel fine. Cool. Mm. <laughs> Fools. This is all right. This one. I got the right one. Try this, bright boy. Try and tr- come back here. I'll close my eyes. Hold my hand and I'll tell you which one to drink. This one didn't hurt me, so perhaps it will not hurt you. Well, feed it to Owen first. I think he needs it. I can't even I don't want to any Owen. more of that crap. It's just it's disgusting. Owen's depressing me by his depressing ways. No. Shut up, Owen. Look at your hand. Full speed. Ah. Bright boy, Minuk. Are you gonna are you gonna come hither? Fine. I'll just yeah, I'll Right, just... I'm closing my eyes so I cannot see upon your brightness. I'm gonna shine over and then <laughs> Have a sip. <laughs> so, so yeah. As Minik drinks the red drink, his blood becomes fortified, and your your veins expand, and your flesh swells, and uh, but blood sort of seeps from your eyes, and um, yeah, you can see that that you start to like bulge up, and you can feel your veins just pulsating. Oh my god! I'm sorry. And you can see that blood sort of like starts dripping out of your eyes, your mouth, your ears. Like Minica's just in a horrible, horrible way at this point. Oh my goodness, what is going on? I'm sorry, I thought it would help. Why did it not hurt me? Perhaps it's because I drank it first. Um, 
Quick, help me. What what next one should I drink? Okay, um, Minoc, you're going to take some damage. Oh, Five damage. <gasps> right, okay, yeah, so I'm like, why has it not harmed me? Help me. Help you me. just stop moving, you'll hurt yourself. <sighs> help me. What one should I drink next, considering that I am not hurt? <laughs> I am hurt. <laughs> I'm going to shiny swallow over to the... Uh, <laughs> you're such a mess. To the emerald. Yeah. Let's go. Anything. Anything. Let me help. Let's go. Okay, yeah, um, you grow um, very massive in size, sprouting like a weed, and you're now 12 foot tall. Uh, Sadly, though, um, your your bones and muscles um, don't experience any greater density to support this size, <laughs> so you crumple over like a horrible like bit of paper, just like crashing oh. over your bones, breaking. I've never been this tall, but... And you're going to take some um, horrific damage. <laughs> Another four damage. Okay, I need, I need the health. I need the saving one. No, I, yeah, I need. I, yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm not hurt yet, so I'm gonna not. What? So what? So what? Which, which ones haven't we? Tangerine, we haven't had. Tangerine, that the only one we haven't drunk. No, there's another one as well. Okay, I'm gonna get tangerine. Okay, um, as Grimald drinks the tangerine one, uh, nothing happens to him. Again, nothing hurts. Perhaps. Give it here. No, you've had enough. Uh, Leave this to me, I, I think. I feel bad. Owen, try this one. I don't want to drink anymore. Listen, don't give them to me. And he, t he takes it and he tries to tip it out. No! Well, I as, it. as he does it, um, he you see that none of it comes out. Oh, okay. He's like, why? Why doesn't anything ever go my way? Life is so pointless. Everything. Ah. Give it back. Um, he gives it back. Okay, well, and what we got left? Yeah, um, I, had, I had gold. Emerald. Emerald, tangerine, and azure. I had emerald, didn't I, just now? I'm gonna take em yeah. I'm gonna drink emerald me, next. No, that made me. You saw what happened to me. Yeah, but it's fine because it's not happening to me, is it? Alright. Yeah, you're gonna drink emerald next, mm -hmm. yeah? Okay, yeah, you drink it, and once again, Grimald is absolutely fine. <sighs> yes, yes. Whatever it is I am doing, I seem to be doing it right. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody can, because my life was always such a sham. I have but three drinks left, but so far I am unharmed. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to drink the Azure next. Okay, yeah, once again, Grimwald drinks the Azure drink. I think you've figured out this puzzle, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yet again I am unharmed. I think I have figured out this devilish thing. How are you two doing? <gasps> okay, don't answer that. I think they represent the rainbow. Right, boys, I'm on a bit of a roll. Uh, right, this one, plum. Yes, okay, so yeah, you drink the plum one, and again, nothing happens to you. Alas, I am unscathed again. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving only one colour left to drink. And I will drink this final colour, and hopefully save you. <laughs> yes, as you drink it, a, um, a rainbow bridge. <laughs> Grimald is successful again. Comes out of your mouth. <laughs> Going across the hole in the middle of the room to the door on the opposite side. Amazing. And your hit points are still gone, Minuk, but your ailments are now cured. <laughs> and now <laughs> How you doing? Oh, that was not, not the most fun. You look like how my owl kebab came out this morning, mate. <laughs> Owen's melancholy has also been cured, and he's like, oh, I don't know what I was going on about just then. Life's great. I'm great. Good. Apart Good from, to have you back. Apart from that hand, of course. You smoke, son. <laughs> come on, Owen. Along you come. And, um, yeah, you guys walk along the rainbow bridge and yes. go to the door, and you are now uh, teleported back to the central chamber. Hey. The next door that you can see bears the room for the number three and it is labelled in Enlightenment. <laughs> Do you wish to go in? Yes. Yeah. You stand upon the highly polished marble floor of a grand hall. Ten glittering stone pillars support a vaulted ceiling adorned with painted images of pastoral life. The hall is lit brightly by flambeaux affixed to the pillars and bearing ivory tapers. The strains of music drift through the air, hauntingly beautiful in the unoccupied chamber. Interwoven between the notes, you detect a strong feminine voice speaking in your native tongue. There is an absence in this oasis of perfection, the voice says. If thou art the true champion of law, take steps, however dire, to address this absence. Through its presence, you shall pass your trial. Did you, uh, did you hear that? Um, yeah, yes, I, yes I did. 
like a like like a late like a lady's voice inside your brain pan. She sounded very attractive. What the? F- <laughs> oh, I mean, don't do that. <laughs> Sorry, I was just getting a little trouser tightening action. Very well, but if you're gonna speak, don't speak when you're directly behind us. You know it gives us the jumps. Sorry. Um, it's okay, Owen. Can mine not do a, a perception, please? To yes, in fact, uh, both give me a perception to see if you can notice what is uh, missing from this room. Hi! Right, yes. okay. Okay, so um, you both got a 20. So um, basically, <laughs> Best. using that, you realise that the thing missing from this room, the absence that the voice spoke of, is in fact darkness obviously under normal circumstances that would be really hard to realize but you realize that this room is intensely brightly lit and there's music that that gives the room a certain lightness there's light on the walls everything is brightly colored and the one thing that's missing is in fact darkness and you can see these torches on the walls lighting the room up and the only person that doesn't notice is owen and he's looking around the room going you know what i think is missing from this room bitches we got to get more. It's a sausage fest. It's just the three of us. Owen, please, please pipe down, Owen. Be that as it may, I think it's a little bit deeper than wenches. And as you guys continue to speak, you can see that above you, um, as the music filters through the hall, you can see that some ghostly dancers begin to appear um, dancing in the in the air. Just, oh, bloody hell. Just waltzing oh. through the air, dancing to the music. Um, Can you... Can you... Can you see these? Uh, this is lovely. Uh, um, right, can my knock please? Uh, can I climb up one of the pillars? Right. Nice. Yeah. Just give me a climb roll, please. Five. Yes, you make a pitiful climb a quarter of the way up the pillar. <laughs> Come on, Miner, you can do better than that, mate. Get up there. Get up there. Give me another climb roll. Yes, please. Two. You slide back down the pillar. Oh, for God's sake, get out of the way, Miner. Give me a go. Hurry up. Uh, that's a two. Oh, for God's sake, I feel. What is going on? Right, right, right. Uh, we need teamwork. I'm going to lob my hand axe up, if that's okay. Yeah, okay. Give me a uh, missile attack roll, please. Cool, sir. It's a 12. Your um, axe flies through the air, taking out one of the torches. As it does so, you see that the darkness surrounding the unlit torch is almost unnatural, and some ghostly dancers sort of dance aggressively towards you. Fortunately for you, um, they miss and oh. just dance past you. Ooh, Grim, be careful. Why? But attacking. At, what with dance moves? I don't know, but it scared me. Yes, I'm a little bit scared too. Right, continue doing what you're doing. You've clearly upset them, but perhaps this is the way. Be careful, though. Dancing can be very dangerous. Okay. I was once at a ballroom and I broke a nail. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, Owen, for God's sake. Right, if you didn't have such a mangled hand, mate, I'll tell you. I'll anyway. Pick, I'll pick up the axe. If that's cool. Um, can I uh, try and use my sling stones to uh, try and sling stone another torch? Yes, you can. Sweet. Can't, yeah, can't. Sorry, I should have mentioned before there's a total of six. So go ahead. One awesome. down, five to go. Uh, that's 14, mate. Yes. Yeah, that's another hit. So another um, <laughs> another torch is taken out. I'm going to blow my, uh, blow my rock sling like a gun. And <laughs> another pair of ghostly dancers walks towards you aggressively. Oh, here they come. Once again, though, they do miss and they go past you just going, I shall see you by the volivants. <laughs> <laughs> if I knew what that was, mate, I, I might be insulted. More darkness envelops the room. This time you can see that it, the darkness isn't just surrounded by that one torch. It, the, the room itself is actually darkening. Nice. And you can see that pairs of dancers are starting to sort of uh, come closer towards you guys. Oh, God. What would you like to quick. do? Um, uh, just Continue go for another one. Doing. Yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, just go for another. Okay. Hey! Okay, I'll go to 20. You take out another torch, throwing your axe at it, and the axe falls um, very far across the other side of the room with an intense throw. Torch goes out, and another pair of dancers fly towards you, uh, hitting into you this time. Uh, You're going to take one damage uh, um, as a ghostly leg hits you in the face. Yeah, can I uh, go to the end of the hall and pick up my axe? You can go to the end of the hall to pick up your axe, but you will have to go past a no, lot no. of dancers Take to do mine. that. Miner, you want to use mine? I don't think you should go that close to them crazy tiny dancers. Take chop. Jeez. I'll keep choppy up. I mean, thank you. Right, Owen, who's up next? Um, well, I, I'm not going to be of any help. I can't really chuck this pen with any accuracy. 
I thought you was a penman shipman. Yes, yeah, so you've got three left to take down. You can see that the dancers now are coming closer and closer oh, to you guys. God. What would you like to do? Go on, go right, right, that's it. I'm slinging it. Two. No, okay, right. your um, sling misses. Oh. And you fire a rock listlessly through the air. Booger. The dancers are now even closer to you um, as a whole group collective. Minoc, he's going to go for an axe throw. Throw axe, axe lob. Yeah, so you're going to throw Grimald's axe. Yes. <laughs> Nothing much I think we can do, but but put these out. Don't hurt my axe. 14. Okay, with a 14, you smash it and you absolutely <laughs> destroy one of the torches. <laughs> um, but the axe falls next to your, your axe. Oh. Shot, mate. Flying across the room. So um, you're now completely axeless. Grimald, you've only got one of your axes left and your sling now. And how many torches are let, let yet to Two now to Ooh. distinguish. Ooh. And um, a, the group of dancers are now upon you, all <laughs> dancing. Um, they, their limbs absolutely flailing on both of you. Ah. So, um, yes, you're both going to take some damage, unfortunately. You both take one damage as, well, as, a, as a cacophony of um, ghostly limbs just mash against you. <laughs> It's scary and it hurts. Under different circumstances, this might be quite fun. <laughs> I'll say, I'm loving it. Sorry. We've got to just take our lumps and go for it. Yeah, yeah, come on. Okay. Uh, who's the turn, is it? You, you do do a slingy. Right, uh, let's get this sling going. Um, yeah, I'm going to uh, wind up the old sling stones in the sling and see if I can extinguish another one. Yep. Uh, that's a 14, mate. Another hit. Yes! Uh, one is out. The room is now nearly pitch black as only one torch is left. Um, you can now just feel a bunch of horrible ghostly limbs slithering up on you. Um, it's pretty gross. But they actually do fumble this time. Yeah, they accidentally <laughs> hit each other. So um, you can just hear these, like, uh, all of them just shouting as they start hurting each other. And they're just, they're, they're just um, from within this, you can just hear, oh, 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 oh. Um, Stupid ghosts. And um, people are just getting all sorts of hurt. So this is going to give you a, f a sort of free passageway to get out of the crowd and to the last sconce. Yes. What would you like to do? Yeah, go, uh, go, it. go straight for the axes. Yep, yeah, uh, you pick up both axes. Yes. I'll hand this back. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> and now Grimald, would you like to sling off one last sling? Sling off one more sling. Last time's the char a charm. Uh, that's a 17, mate. The last torch is extinguished and Yay! the room is enveloped in complete darkness. Oh. And now um, you can hear the, um, the voice come back and say, Well, you really are a bunch of party poopers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> but I do have to say, thanks for coming and here's your party favour. And with that, a uh, coin drops from the ceiling and the room lights up once more as a door opens, allowing you to get back to the central chamber once more. Oh, money. I'm going to go grab it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a gold coin, actually. Hey. And attached to it is a note simply saying, thanks for coming. See you next time. Very nice. Nice bit of gold. In my pocket. I suppose we shall proceed. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Weird bunch. Come on, Owen, hurry up. What are you sniffing over there? The Volvons. You can I don't know what that means, just move it. You can see that Owen is at a table in the corner of the room where he, despite the darkness, has managed to sniff out a table with um, <laughs> loads of sandwiches and um, little little um, sort of uh, treats and things on it. And he's like, oh, come on, now's not the time for gorging yourself. Well, where is it the time then? Wait, since you're the expert on, on gorging all of a sudden, tell me. Look, don't get right with me just because your hand's all mangled and, and, and your pen's a little bit broken, all we right? We haven't eaten in like an hour. Yes, but, well, yeah, I've got all your, I've got all your banquet in the back of my bag. You've got banquet? I took your banquet. Oh. From last night. Uh-oh. I backed it up. Uh-oh. What? Shush. Give me the banquet. I didn't he really. runs towards you. Quick, follow me then. This way. <laughs> banquet, <laughs> banquet's this way. Okay. Let's go. He chases you through yes. the door, and as you get to the central chamber, he looks at you and goes, Come on then, cough up the goods. When I said banquet, I meant... Uh, I meant a bit of bacon. Uh, I'm going to... I'm gonna, what? <laughs> I'm going to have to rummage in my bag and try and find the smallest more. What? You fuck. Uh, well, it's not... When I said bacon, I actually mean owl kebab. <laughs> little bit of owl kebab <laughs> that fucking... I had left over. Yeah, mate. And I, I pass him a little bit of owl kebab that I kept. Okay, um, he, he he accepts it, and you see a lone 
tear roll down his face, and he goes, You know, Grimald, I shall never forgive you for this. If we get out of this alive. There were Volumons in that room. Uh, uh, yeah, probably mystical ones. Volumons! I, I, I don't know what frigging Volivan is. But listen, what I do know is if we don't get out of this alive, we'll be dead. So, how about we hurry up and try and get out of this thing, eh? Sound logic. And then I all will right. buy you, with my gold piece, a bit of banquet, all right? All right, fair enough. Okay. Onward. Now what we're looking at. You can see a door open. <laughs> this time, it's uh, door number four, and uh, it has the rune for sacrifice on the front. I don't like the look at this one. And, and the door this time, as it opens, sort of has this black mist... Um, enshrouding the entrance. Uh, um, yeah, we'll just proceed in, I reckon. Ali, ali, oop. <laughs> Jump in. Onwards, I suppose. The door opens not unto a chamber, but a scene of carnage, one you're immediately dropped into the midst of. You stand in the centre of a small village under an overcast sky. Panicked citizens flee in terror, and screams of pain fill the air. Before you is a churning horror, a formless monstrosity the size of a cathedral. This demonic thing lashes out with dripping tendrils, shoving a screaming villager into one of its hundred mouths. Buildings collapse as the beast roils over them, heading in your direction. A voice, quiet and childlike, speaks softly, yet is somehow heard amidst the violence. From mighty hero to simple good wife, those who walk the path of righteousness must give themselves at times for another's salvation, paying that price with body, talent, art, and sometimes even one's life. Oh my giddy of. As you survey this scene, Owen simply looks at this hideous beast eating all of these children, women, and buildings and just goes, Nope! Um, Where you gotta go, Owen? I... Uh, exactly. Oh. And he turns around to see that the door has actually disappeared. Oh, no. Now get behind me, you little wimp. <laughs> uh, um, I'm, I've got an idea, right? Can Minoc please... Uh, I want him to stand proud in the middle of, uh, like, I don't know, the, the, the town uh, or the just where he is and sort of make himself obvious to the creature. What? Um, and, I don't know, like in, in a sort of like ballerina pose, like art. Because I want to give it art. You want to give it some art. Yeah, just there. Okay. Yeah, Minox stands there like a like a proud um, like a proud barbarian, like a ballerina or whatever. And you can see this thing just sort of like blobbing towards you, like a giant cathedral-sized hideous mass, enveloping more women, more children, more men as it does so. Grimald, get on me. Maybe if we're bigger. No, oh, I see what you're saying. A little bit more intimidating. Right, hold on. Grimmel gets on top of his shoulders, and as you do so, um, it makes no discernible difference to the uh, to the monster's gait as it simply lunges forward. I mean, pick us up. Forward. Um, Owen's like, I said nope. I don't know what to do, man. This is awful. Look, listen. There's nothing to do other than, by the looks of it, die. So why don't you just die gracefully and help your mates out? Would it? How? How would that help? Lift Miney up, and that'll make me higher. And then I'll get my axes out and scream, and then hopefully we might be able to scare this monstrosity or something. We'll There's no way I'm going first. And as you're on top of him, he just shoves you forward. And um, I usually keep rolls secret, but he rolled an 18. And Minoc, you can see Grimald instantly just gets shoved forward, and he gets wrapped up in one of this beast's tendrils. Ah, just gets eaten instantly. Just getting chomped. What the fuck? And he gets swallowed instantly, and all this blood drips down one of the beast's hundred mouths. No way. Um, so, Grimald. If you would give me your character sheet, oh. please. <laughs> what the fuck? What man? the hell? Yeah, great. Oh, it was nice landing, mate. Eh? Yeah, cheers. Well, look, the room did say mm-hmm. sacrifice, so I sacrificed a hobbit, you know? Owen, you fucking bastard. I had um, to do it, bro. I reckon. I had to sacrifice something, and it wasn't going to be me. I'm Ma- sorry. I'm too scared. <laughs> Alright, Minox, Minox's going to sort of regress into himself. Because um, he's really upset about his his best mate, and he's basically just gonna stop the pose, bow his head, and sort of um, bow his head and raise his arms as if he's just he's just that's it surrendered. He's, he's just given it. He's just given, He's just given up, mate. He's oh, mate. he's cut up. He's he's lost his friend. And so the um, beast lurches forward, uh, taking one um, gooey step 
taking another gooey step, coming towards you, screaming with rage, just mm. making a roar in your face. You can smell its hot, foul breath as you see into its mouth, and you can see that its throat has all of these hideous hooks yeah. and teeth and it screams in your face and then wraps one of its tendrils around you but this time throwing you into the air and then catching you in its mouth as you get ground up like a blender (laughs) and Minoc is uh, gone for an instant but then back in the central chamber Grimald is actually still alive (laughs) (laughs) so uh, what? and then you can just see your you see your friend Minoc just whoa Mining. <laughs> what? Where the blood was? Shut up. I was eaten. I was bits and bones and I was nothing. And then I was all back again. And then here you are. Come here. I'm going to hug Minoc. I thought I'd lost you. Likewise. And then suddenly. You! Oh, here well, he is, okay. Mr. Traitor. No hard feelings, eh, guys? Mm. <laughs> Owen. Owen, look at me. No, I knew what was going to happen, yo. We are even now. You understand. No banquet for you. That that banquet, I promised you, if we get out of here alive. That's yeah. gone. You threw me in a monster. How can I ever forgive you? So I threw you in a monster, and now you don't owe me a banquet. No. Nope. Deal. Look, for what it's worth, I would do it I, w- I mean, I wouldn't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good to know. We we'll talk about this later. Right, where to now? You can see that one final door opens up. It's got the rune for number five on it, and it has the rune for judgment. What? Oh God! Shit! What? Mm. This doesn't look right. right. Inwards. Well, I, I don't want to really be judged, if I'm honest with you. I don't think my good deeds will outweigh my bad deeds. Oh well. Oh, what can we do? Let's go. Speaking of weighing, before you stands a balance scale of (laughs) immense construction. (laughs) Its central pillar, its beam, and the chains leading to its two pans are translucent, formed from glowing golden light. Only its two weighing pans appear of solid construction, fashioned from burnished gold and lying flat upon the floor. The great scale saw five times the height of a man, nearly brushing the ceiling of this room. 35 feet above the rightmost weighing pan is an azure key, the size of a wand. Between you and the scales is a quartet of silver-furred lions with golden manes. What? They growl softly but threateningly at your arrival. Oh, hello kitty. Big noob on this one. (laughs) Not this again. Owen, stop it. The lions seem to zone in specifically on Grimmauld. I'm going to put my hands up in a surrendering way and be like, whoa, 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 kitty, kitty. It appears to make no difference, but as I said, they, they don't really appear to pay much attention to Minoc. Um, they stand up. Roll initiative, please. Uh. Okay, so first up is going to be Grimmauld. Okay, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just going to... I've got, I've got my hands up in front of the, the lions, and I'm just like, whoa, 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 kitties. And I'm going to start walking away from them, the rest of the party, see what they do. Yeah, they sort of follow you with their eyes, growling. Minoc, they seem to be occupied with me, mate. Um, not that I'm thrilled about that, but at the same time, you might be able to get behind them. It is the lion's turn. <sighs> oh, God. And one of them takes a flying leap <laughs> at you. Shit. Um, <laughs> It leaps just past you, um, you and misses. Another one goes in for an attack and misses. <laughs> then you can see that the other two go for Owen. One of them connecting immediately. Ah! Why always me? <laughs> Doing two damage to him. Um, you can see that Owen has now got quite a deep gash in um, his <laughs> stomach. Oh. And when. then another one goes for an attack and misses him. <laughs> so, next up is going to be um, Minoc. Um, uh, can I just walk towards the scales and stand? I want to stand on the scale that's on the floor. Yep, certainly. So, Minoc stands on the scale. And as you do so, you can hear a voice. Only he who hath led a goodly and lawful life shall ascend in the end. If thou wishest to rise above all others, speak truthfully of your deeds in life. Recount your virtuous acts and be judged. You have 30 heartbeats to prove your merit. Oh, wow. Did anybody else hear that? I'm a bit busy, mate. 
Uh, they did not actually mine it. You were the only one that uh, heard that. I once... I saved a town with my dear friend Grimald from complete destruction when a, a, a dark chaos lord tried to destroy it. The pan rises up about a third of the way yes. towards the Azure Key. Oi, yes, boy! Nice, okay. nice. I think it's working. Keep doing it, mate! Next up is going to be Owen, who takes a turn and he's like, Bloody lions! I'll show you who's the lion! No, it doesn't work. Anyway, fuck you! <laughs> and he goes to attack, but fumbles. As he goes to slash with his pen, His um, all the ink flies out and goes into his eyes, and he goes, <laughs> ah! I'm blowned! I have been blowned! <laughs> Curses! Blown. Who should think it would end like this? Blowned by my own ink! Grimald is your turn. I'm really angry. Grimald goes, right, you bloody lions. First... First you cut Owen's guts, and then you make him blound himself. This is not happening. And then I just run out <laughs> with an axe. Not today, boy. And then I'm going to uh, leap at him with my axe attack. I've got a 9 and a 16. Six damage, mate. Okay, brilliant. That means that you do six damage to one of the lions. You can see that it rears back, obviously afraid of you, as you really, really damage it, yes. slicing into the side of its face. Okay, next up is going to be the lion's turn. You see the one that you just attacked sort of back off from you, but the remaining three, knowing that you're a predator, go for you, and one of them slashes at you violently with its claws, doing Ow. one damage, not a great attack, but still hurting you significantly. Ow. Then another one goes in for a bite, um, you take a step back and it misses you just about. Oh. And then the, the final one, seeing that Owen is about to go down, has been blowned, is already injured, and wants an easy meal, goes for a bite on him, gets it, uh, does only one damage, and you can see that Owen is extremely close to death. He is like a basically a blubber, bl he's basically a blubbery mess now in the corner, and he's like, <laughs> I mean, Owen, stay alive! <laughs> I'm trying! I mean, that's pretty good advice. <laughs> um, Keep breathing. Stop being blown. Next up is Minek. Um, Okay. Um, I can't do much from here, but I'll do my best. Keep doing what you're doing, Minek! Before all of this time, before I left the riches that I owned, I made sure that I spent almost all of my money on people like I am now on the poor and the helpless. I went to help everyone as much as I could and do my best for the town and the people within it. The scale rises another third. Yes! You're so close to the Azure Key now. Oh. You can smell the Azure. Um, I'm like, tell them about the nice shoes you got me, Mino. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is going to be Owen. He tries to clear some ink from his eyes. Um, he's just in the corner, but he's doing it with one broken hand oh. and the other one holding just a shaft of a pen. Oh, <laughs> it's just awful. And he's just like, <laughs> Mummy! <laughs> oh, no. Okay, uh, next up, Grimald. Okay, um, I am going to continue to attack the line that I've already damaged. I'm going, you like that? Kit Kat. 13 and a 16. Roll damage, please. Uh, that's a five and a three. You lunge forward and you obliterate this lion, chopping it near in half. Um, yeah, the the lion is 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 absolutely destroyed, and the, you can see that the other three immediately start to fear you, meaning that they um, sort of team up against yep. you. They're all now going to attack you. Oh no! One of them is successful in the hit and does three damage to you. Oh! And then the other one goes in and goes for a bite attack, missing. Oof. And the third one goes in for a claw and does Ow. one damage. Oh, oh God! God. Uh, yeah, I'm a mess. Bloody, bloody cats! Hanging in there, Jesus. What's going there. on? Are we winning? <laughs> Working on it. Next up is going to be Minek. Minek, it's all about you now, man. Another good deed of what I did is my dear friend Grimwood. See, we were with the cutthroat Jenkins and he was about to attack him, but I tripped up that idiot just before he could get to my friend and we made haste, so he, my friend was unharmed. I saved him. You see that the platform shudders a little bit. It does a little jerky motion and it's almost as if um, it's stuck on something. 
but then it rises. Yay! Last. It rises the last um, third. And you can now see the key is within your grasp. As grab I said it. before, it's about the size of a wand. So it's it's a big key, but yeah, you can just grab it. Yeah, I'll grab I'll grab the fuck. Oh, so and then you see that the lions, they are satiated. They back off and they just go, <gasps> Yes, yes, yes! Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry about all that. You're sorry? Look at the me. Hey, but man, this is a dungeon, man. It's all part of the puzzle. What's a dungeon? Uh, don't worry about it, because it's cool. Okay. We, we just wanted to test if you are, y'all were lawful, and if you weren't, we had to, you know, attack you in there. Makes sense. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Alright, apology <laughs> accepted. I'm sorry your friend got blound over there. Yeah, yeah he's really blounded over there. <laughs> Come here, Owen. Come on, take my take my bloody hand. My eyes! I, I know, let me get this ink out of your eyes. Can I try and uh, use my thumbs to like, get the ink out of his eyeballs? Um, yes. Uh, give me a... <laughs> <laughs> healing role for that, I guess. Intelligence. De blound. Uh, twelve. He's he. Um, Owen is semi de blound. Um, okay. He you you got some of the ink out of his eyes, <laughs> but because it went really in his eyes, his yeah. vision is still going to be blurry for quite a while. And <laughs> um, so he can't see very well. Um, he's just like, it's mildly better. There you go. Those Who are I these lovely women fair. over here? And you see him start walking towards no, the fire. No, oh, I grab him. Um, his belt buckle. Yes, as you grab him, he's like, "Okay, come along this um, way to, to like, Miney." I'm gonna say, "Um, um, get me down from here." <laughs> Working on it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you see one of the cats go, "Oh yeah, we were supposed to put in a mechanism so that came down to the end of the puzzle, but we we're strapped for time because y'all came in here too early. Oh, can I? We didn't expect you to be done with that big monster thing this soon." <laughs> Um, okay, can mine not try and sort of jump onto the central column and slide down it like a fireman's pole? Nice. Yep, give me an agility roll, please, mate. Good, sir. 14. Nice. Huh. Yeah, so you slide down the pole expertly, uh, and then one of the lions says to you, Oh, by the way, y'all want healing? <laughs> yes. I love some healing. And you see one of them, he passes you a bunch of um, coins. He had four copper coins each. <laughs> okay. And um, he goes, yeah, that should pay your medical bills. <laughs> oh, so yeah, you get four copper coins each, and would you like to now leave the room as the door opens? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Please. Definitely leave. As you leave the room, you can now see in the central chamber that there is a new staircase in the middle of the room leading upwards, and a sign outside crudely painted obviously they didn't have much time to do this either <laughs> saying to the chamber of the yokeless egg hey. Hey. I think we need to go that way no shit it says to the <laughs> you can't say look at your face <laughs> oh for fuck's sake I, look I can read perfectly fine it says to the, 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 and, the and Owen the, so on Owen you're looking at the wall mate <laughs> oh right am I turn around hello <laughs> there you go that's hello. it follow my voice oh grandmother <laughs> oh bloody hell! Mighty, grab him. Yeah, we'll we'll escort Owen up the stairs. With us. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, as you go up the stairs, you can see a, a big door in front of you. Um, it's lined with gold and it is perfect marble white door. Nice. And on the front, an azure coloured keyhole. Mighty, I'm I'm no I'm no keyologist or anything, mate. But <laughs> but I I I reckon yeah I reckon. That key might go in that hole. Do you want a roll keyologist? Yeah, please. <laughs> See if I'm right. That's uh, 15. <laughs> Your keyologist roll, you have successfully... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have successfully managed to recognise that that as your key goes in that as your lock. I know it. I know it. No shit, silly head. And then um, go uh, and put the key in the hole. <laughs> Celestial door swings open to the music of spheres, dulcet tones of unearthly instruments announcing your entrance. The chamber before you is a massive dome fashioned from bright blue marble flecked with spotless white. 
a wide walkway circles the perimeter of this 90 foot wide room. Directly before you is a bridge extending from the encircling causeway to a triangular platform. Hanging unsupported above a gulf of sultry star studded night, a number of figures stand atop the platform surrounding a crystal plinth. Floating above the plinth is a large egg of cerulean blue. One of the figures turns around and looks at you and goes, Alright, alright, it's me, it's you. Yeah, me, Grimald. No, but I'm Grimald. Nah, that's me, mate. But, mate, I, I, I thought I was Grimald. No, but I am, so... Oh, yeah, so you can't be, because I am. And then Shit. the other, another one turns around and goes, Hello, it's me, my dog. <laughs> no, it's not. Well, obviously, I'm the real one. Um, no. Wait a minute, if you're over there, my knock, then who the fuck are you? I'm my knock. I know I am. But but he says he's Grimald, and... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I am Grimald. And I'm Owen! What the bloody hell? Owen, what what are you doing over there, Owen? What? Oh, look, the blound out, Owen's still behind us. Yes, he, uh, he who's can... this fat idiot? Wait. What, don't call me that? He can see... Yeah, so you can see that there's yeah there's there's obviously another Owen in front of you that can see perfectly fine. Oh, we don't. I mean, no, that's not Owen. Yes, I am. Um, fuck off. This is getting confusing. Right, listen, you give me that egg. Uh, no. Aunt, why am I? Because we've been sent here to retrieve the egg. No, no. Yeah, so we shan't be giving it to you. <laughs> but what about if I was to say? Yeah, we'll have the egg, and you can have a volo vent, eh? Is that right, Owen? No, it's a it's a brother bronx, says oh. the one who's not blinded. Wait, I weren't talking to you, Owen. I'm talking to that Owen. Owen? Yes, it's a brother bronx. Um, and the one who's blinded says, He's clearly a fraudster. It's a volavant. I knew it. Mm. I'm going to say, And you, fake Grimald, answer me this. What did you do in the chamber with the big monster? First of all, I'm the real one. And in a chamber with a monster, I killed it, of course. I kill all the monsters. Because I'm, I'm Rimmeled. Lies. You're bollocks, mate. I'm Rimmeled. Yeah. And clearly, by me asking that question, proves that I'm the real mime. Let's kill these fakers. No, I'm the real I'm the real mime mob. Right, I've, I've, I've seen enough. We need to roll initiative, guys. Hey. Oh, blood. Okay, so Grimald, you are up first. Can we get to these fools? You can. They are obviously on this bridge, mm -hmm. um, extending out into the starry night in this dome. Okay. Behind them mm -hmm. is the egg. Right, gotcha. Okay, I'm not going to get too close yet. I'm going to fire off a rock first of all, see if I can do some damage from Athar. Yep. 15, mate. Wow, well, one damage. Okay, yeah, you hit him in the head and he's like... <laughs> As the rock hits into him, um, you notice that the there's sort of a flash of um, colour as you as you as it hits him. Not blood, but like colour, like a, a flash of um, light bright lights. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, next up is going to be Minoc. I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for an axe. I'm gonna get in within melee range and axe one of them. I'm probably gonna axe the fake version of me. I've got a 14. Ow! That is going to be a hit. I got a six. Okay, and next up is going to be Owen, no. who runs forward and he's like, "You fake pretender!" And he goes to punch the fake version of himself. He has a very difficult time doing so as a result of the ink in his eyes, <laughs> and he ma he misses horribly, oh, punching no. the air. Next up is going to be the fakers. Oh god! First up, the fake Grimald takes a shot at real Grimald, <laughs> and he fires a sling at him, missing entirely. And next, Minoc runs forward, taking a hit at Minoc, and misses again, oh, fumbling. Oh, oh. <laughs> fumbling. The joints of his armor seize up, freezing him in him, him in place. He should have taken better care of his armor, evidently. And he just goes, "Take this!" And as he goes to hit you, he just freezes in place, and he's like, oh, "Whoops." Never mind. Uh, and last of all, the fake Owen goes for a punch on Minoc as well, hitting him. Two damage, hey, punching Jesus. you right in the jaw, and he's like, "Take I know, that!" I know you're not the real Owen because you could never do this. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ne next up is going to be real Grimald. Real Grim. Um, yeah, he's, he's like, "You hurt my mate, mate." So now you gotta die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run in, back up my Minoc uh, with a double axe attack on uh, one for the Grim, one for the Minoc. Oh no! Nice. Yeah. Uh, first is an 11, and the second attack is a 15. 
Yeah, you hit with the second. Yes. Okay, cool. So you, you're going to hit the uh, the fake Minoc. Yep, and that's five damage. Nice one. So yeah, the fake Minoc, you see him explode in a um in a in a sort of flash of light. Oh. Um the other two fakers are going to have to make uh, agility checks to see if they can stay on and they do, unfortunately, Ooh. as this explosion um, does rock them, but they manage to stay on the uh, platform. I turn around to uh, Minoc and go, I'm sorry I blew you up, mate. <laughs> but weren't you? It was fake me. Don't you worry. I know, but it felt wrong. Okay, next up is going to be Minoc. I'm going to go for the axe attack on the on the fake Grim. Got a nine. That is going to miss. Oh, so brother. your axe swings listlessly through the air, huh. missing him entirely. And next up is going to be real Owen, who runs in and tries to punch once again, missing the oh. ink ever stinging. <laughs> and, uh, so fake Grim goes for a double axe attack on Grimald. Misses both attacks, ah. swinging. I'll get you next time. Ah. No, you won't. I taught myself everything I know. Yeah, but I taught myself everything I know. Exactly, but you ain't me. Yeah, but I am you, exactly. Oh, wait a minute. Stop it. You what? stop it. Ah. Pipe down. Ah. Pipe down. <laughs> you pop down. You ain't exactly a bloody basketball player, are you? And then uh, the fake Owen comes up and he tries to stab you with a pen that he produces from his pocket. <laughs> oh, and he goes for Grimald again. Oh, no. And he's like... Take this! This is for trying to do whatever! And then um, he misses as well. <laughs> so you're very lucky. Jesus Christ. Next up, real Grimald. Real Grim! Time to die, fakers. Uh, I'm going to uh, attack um, Owen. Uh, that's six on my first attack and 11 on my second attack. Both attacks miss. Oh! Minoc, you're up next. Yeah, uh, usual business axe attack. I'm going for the fake Grim. Grim. Yeah. 21. I got, I got an eight. <laughs> Yeah, the fake Grim goes down. Yes! Um, you kill him immediately, and you see him explode in a ball of light. And, and the other faker, Owen, has to make an agility roll to save to not get blasted off of the platform. <laughs> he um, does fall off, falling into the stars below. Yes, silly you, see him, you see him explode like a little supernova down, down below. <laughs> Grim's you. just going to start dancing on the platform like, Oh, oh. Real deal over here. Fuck you, fakers. I would like you both to roll perception, please. Um, 19. I got a 7. Minuk can see that um, Owen, with the ink in his eyes, is now running towards the Yokla's egg. <laughs> I'm gonna. Um, yeah. Owen, what are you doing? I gotta get it! I want it! Why? Can I run towards him whilst, this, whilst I'm saying this? Give me an agility roll, please. Get him, Miney, quick! I got a 10. Um, he manages to outrun you. He grabs the egg, and you see him put it down his top, and it's now among the folds of his fat, and he's like, Okay, guys, looks like we got the egg. Phew, hey? Right, let's get it back to the Lords. Wait right there. What? What's happening? What do you mean, what's happening? We just had to get it. Can I do a personality roll to see if he's got a hidden agenda? I got four. Yeah, you know that he's telling the truth. Wait a minute, when uh, did you become egg keeper, Owen? Okay. You could just about keep your own bloody hand on your arm. Let's go. But there is something I need to tell you, actually. What? Grimald. What? I got visited by um, someone in the in the chaos world. Oh, yeah, tell me more. It was a, a, a spy of the lawful realm. Really? And she told me that if I could get the egg safely back to her, she would get us safely back to our city. Miney, I too have a confession to make. And being on this adventure with you, our second adventure has bonded us even closer. And it's made me realise that I can no longer keep this from you. Armour boy. Big boy with the horns. Do you remember him? Narl, I think his name was. Noel. Noel. That's it. Anyway. That listen, idiot. He pulled me to the side. And he told me, he said, Grim, Grim, bring me back the egg. And you know what I'll do for you, boy? I'll give you magical swords and magical armour. And at the time I thought, yeah, magic, that's what I like. Magic and power. But no, I know what's right and I need to tell you that I, I nearly did. But now I realise that I mustn't. I must change my ways. You're my friend, Miney. My, You're greater than power. You're my best mate. And, and I won't do it. Oh, oh. Fuck that guy. Grimald. But we got a problem. Owen's got a bloody egg. What? No, I vote that we give it to the lawful woman. Oh, okay. I'm all for getting back to the city. I'm a businessman. As much as I want to get out of here, I don't know if I want to go back to Fanning, but if it is better than this bloody place, isn't it? Let's be honest. <laughs> well, then, Owen, come hither. Are we going to trust the blind guy with the egg? I mean, uh, he did just get blounded. 
Personally, right. personally, I tend to stand at the back most of the time. If we're going to get attacked on the way back, it makes sense that I should carry the egg. Because otherwise, it's just going to get smashed if one of you two are carrying it. You two tend to be the ones that get attacked the most. Yes, I've got a broken hand. Yes, I blinded myself with ink. But I'm less likely to get attacked if I'm standing at the back. Can I Isn't try? that correct? It's got a point. I'm going to do another personality like I did before with the... Um, see if he's got a hidden agenda. If he's, if he's lying to me right now. Yeah, sure. Go for it. I've got an eight. You can tell that he's telling the truth. Is he shooting straight, Miney? Uh, You've think... got that look in your face. I know you're reading him. I think, I think so. Right, stick him at the back then. He can bring up the rear. <laughs> do not take your hands off that egg, mate. It's very important. I you understand? It, I, I put it down my top. Or should I say, do not take your hand off that egg, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> Sorry, mate. You need to make jokes about that. No, I know, I know. I use this hand for pleasuring the ladies, and I'm, more, I'm very annoyed about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, dear. <laughs> Nice. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll hook you up, don't worry. Anyway, anyway, right. All we need to do now is go and pluck that rose and get back to the Court of Chaos. Yep, pull the let's rotten rose. Let's just hope nothing annoys us on the way back. Mm. Right, you are the egg man. Right, let's go back. Coo -coo -coo -choo. Let's, let's go. go. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, you guys um, make a walk down, back through the cataphract, mm -hmm. back through the field. And back to the rose, and you are unmolested on your way back, which nice. is very, very handy. Yes. Would you like to pluck the rose? I think we should hold hands for this. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll well, hold your arm, Owen. I agree. Let's do it. And then. Uh, I thought, well, wait, wait a minute. What? Hold hands. Hold hands. How else are all three of us going to go through? All right, all right. Nothing weird. Though. See, Let's we go. did. Let's go. You hold hands, and you immediately pluck the rose from the ground. And then, the pristine beauty of the Plane of Law vanishes in a cloud of rank putrid pollen as you pluck the rose from the earth. Once again you feel a sense of vertigo as you plummet through the plains, <laughs> landing hard on the obsidian floor of the Court of, Ouch. of the Court of Chaos. The host sits atop their thrones, looking down at you with ill-concealed avarice. One of their number laughs in anticipation. A query rings out like an explosion. Do you have it? Have what? You see that Owen immediately runs forward towards the guy with the two arms coming out of his face and goes, Oh Lord Margog! I, I have it! I, I, I have him. it! I'm going to grab him. Um, okay. Bloody little shit, get him! James, uh, give me a melee attack roll to see if you can grab Owen. I've got 17. Yes! Yes! You <laughs> grab onto the back of the shirt, and he's holding the egg out above his head, and Margog is reaching forward with his two arms. I'm gonna, I'll pull him back. I'll pull him towards Grim. Okay, uh, so we're going to do an opposed strength oh. roll to, for this one. He's got an 18. <laughs> he got a 19. Oh, what? No! Um, you see that Margog... Grim, help! Margog now grips the, the egg with his two hands. What would you like to do? Uh, can I leap through the air and try and uh, grab it out of his hands? Give me an agility roll for the leap, please. Okay. Oh! oh! What? Oh, 20! <laughs> yes! Okay. Critical no success. With a critical success, you fly through the air, and now you are flying directly towards the egg. Your um, path is perfect. But... With this guy's two great hands, which make up his face, you will need to give me an immense strength roll to pluck it free from his hands. Oh my god. Will you make it? Uh, that's a 17. Okay, let's see if he can beat that. He does not. Yes! Yes! So you pluck it from his hands, and just as you do so, um, Minuk, you can see your spy running towards you, and she's like, Do not let them have it! It, it is ours! Quickly! Grim, come this way. Come in, mate. And we're gonna uh, running away from the uh, hand face. <laughs> okay, both of you give me an agility roll because you can see that this spy, the golden woman, she opens up a portal <gasps> behind you. Now you can see that all of the hosts, all of the um, chaos lords, are now running towards you. So give me an agility roll to see if you can make it through the portal. I got, uh, I got nineteen. Okay. Grim got a, a seventeen. <laughs> Owen lags behind with a pitiful two. You see oh, him going, guys, no! No, they're gonna eat me! Should have thought, mate, should have thought that earlier. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> and then you guys are teleported through with Lex Elia, the spy of the lawful plane. And she has teleported you too. A space 200 feet above Fanning City. What? what? Uh, Oh, I see. This is an inexact science. Um, 
Do something! Do something, will you? We're falling! Ah! We'll, we'll keep it down, will you? Um, you guys are free falling. You can see that the egg is about 10 meters away from you. And she's like, oh, don't worry about that. That'll be fine. Um, uh, what about us? You can see her chanting some runes, and she's like, What? You're going to go going me. And then you guys seem to be floating very, very gently towards the ground. And she's like, Well, thanks for saving the egg. You know what they would have done with that? Oh dear! And you can see it just smash into the courthouse. (laughs) Oh no! Oh no! And as it smashes into the courthouse, it makes a gigantic hole. And looking through the hole is the judge from earlier who goes, (laughs) You Great. two again? Sorry, mate. Flo- floating down like feathers. Yes, um, and with a woman who looks obviously magical. Uh, and earlier oh, on, oh, you two no. were trying to prove that you weren't magical. And he was like, oh, no. I bloody knew it! <laughs> mate, I can explain everything. This ain't what it looks like. Guys enjoy it. Fucking hell, that was intense at the end. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, my I don't really usually get this, but my palms are sweaty, man. Yeah, me too. So we left forgetting. Owen in the court of chaos. Yeah. yeah, so he's there forever. Oh boy. Or dead, presumably. We, we don't yeah, know. But he, des- he deserves it, obviously. <laughs> oh god. He did try to fuck you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers, Owen. You, and face as you, well. You oh. dick. So, um, for those cool. of the people that don't know, that was uh, Dungeon Crawl Classics Intrigue at the Court of Chaos by Michael Curtis with a lot of bloody uh, alterations once again <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um, yeah that was awesome I really enjoyed playing that and uh, I think that's one of the best dungeon cool classics Man, adventures because it proves that um, even low level characters don't need to wait to be uh, doing sort of cosmic level shit yeah mm. friggin awesome that's, that was so cool it was mad, mm-hmm. mad good oh man um, yeah so well done guys I think you played a really Thanks, good man. game there and I think that um, uh, you absolutely nailed it but um, it, one thing that we wanted to say was about the Patreon, we want to say thanks to all the donators because the donators are made into characters for um, this series, yeah. and that includes uh, Phoenix Beckett, the lawyer who was named after Peter Beckett, one of the Patreon donators. Yep. Um, Fanning City is named Tony, after Tony Fanning. Tony Fanning, yeah. And we also had there were others. Uh, they got the uh, the guy that, uh, the guy that owns the. But the the pub is uh, it's Morgan's, isn't it? Yeah, that is um, Morgan Ellis. Ellis. Yeah, we've them. got Cutthroat Jenkins in AP one. We had Mc- Gary. Yeah, Gary yeah. McCallum was a dead body. Yeah, and we had uh, David Middleton, who was David the guard in yeah. the prison. And how could we forget? The Owen Lee, giant star. Mr. Lane, messed us right up. Yeah, exactly. So that that was awesome. So yeah, if not you want... to mention in, in the first session when we had. Um, who the fuck was it that kept messing up? Hanson. Oh my god, yeah, Terry Hanson for the villain. Hanson, oh, cheers, bro. What are you not doing? So, um, for a buck a month, you yep. could be a character in this show. And I think what we'll do, um, because obviously the nature of DCC is that a lot of these characters keep getting fucked up in yep. some way. Yep. We'll probably have family members turn up too that are named after them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah keep, keep it coming. Yeah, yeah. because, it, 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 you know, people just are very fragile in this world. <laughs> and Absolutely. Terry yeah. Hansen's character died in, in episode That's one. That's true. But to be fair, Owen Lean's not been confirmed dead, just left in the court of chaos. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see <laughs> what happens. Yeah, that goes. Yeah, but how is he ever going to come out of there? going to be so mad. <laughs> but, I mean, it's, not, it's, it's very rare that there's going to be another spy of the lawful plane in there, but we'll true. see. True. Um, so yeah, if you want to for for just a, a a pound a month or however much you want to spend, you can be a character or a city in this. Mm-hmm. And mm. we haven't revealed this yet, but the world that this takes place in is called Vey V H E Y, which is named after Zovia, who is another one of our people. And of course, Stumpy, you know. We oh yeah, him. and Stumpy as well. Yeah. So Stumpy was the lawyer at the beginning. He's mm. our newest patron. Oh, of course, yeah. So, so we made yeah, him yeah, Stumpy. Another character. Yeah. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool thing. If you yes. want to be part of this, then get involved then get and you'll be immortalised in the uh, DCC AP. Yeah, you know we're not above begging for money. No, no. not at all. No, <laughs> not at all. This Please is the, the AP of the foreign beggars. Um, no, not additionally, at all, yeah. if you want to get in contact with us, we'll give you some contact details. If you oh, want to yeah. give us feedback on the show, let us know how bad it is. All of this stuff. Send us ask an electro us, letter. Ask us questions, mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. Um, then tabletoptwats at gmail dot com. Yep. Facebook.com forward slash tabletop t or Twitter. at yeah. Oh, sorry. Or at tabletoptwats on Twitter. Yep. 
Yep. And, and lastly, but not leastly, G Plus Community Nerds International, which leads us on to something very exciting about the Nerds International. NivCon. So, um, yeah, NivCon is a new convention that's happening in March, and this is a Nerds International virtual convention where yes. we're going to be hosting games. Um, I am probably going to be running some uh, Call of Cthulhu. Yeah. And it's going to be all sorts of virtual games going on, Wicked. stuff like this. Mm-hmm. They said that they're going to do sort of seminars or panels. What, what do you call them? Ga- panels. panels. That's panels. It. Yeah. And so I'm going to do be doing a panel on um, how to pleasure a lady. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Tune in for that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to run some modern Cthulhu, possibly, or and I also want to do some Mutant Year Zero or Trail or James, something like if that. You were, if you were to do a panel, what would it be on? Panel? Yeah, like you do. You like sort you of give a talk. Of panel, you yeah. give a talk to I'll, people. Uh, probably talk about um, five spice <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Ch- hey, chicken. But we've got one last thing to say. What's that? One last For final thing. Sake. I was just about to close it off, but what's I'm the last? I'm so thing? sorry, but this is very, very important. If you would like to actually come and meet us in real life, oh, yes. flesh world. Uh, if you're UK bound, or if you're travelling to it, yeah, or if you're passing through on the second uh, of December, I yes, believe. Yes, indeed. Saturday, second of December. Dragon Meet in yeah. London. We are going to be there. There will be a place called the Podcast Zone where you can come and meet us, or during the actual convention, come up and say hi. We'll be, we will be there. About. You'll recognise us if you haven't ever seen what our faces look like because we'll be wearing tabletop twats t-shirts yep. like shameless yes. morons, <laughs> yeah. no, but like awesome guys. And we're no doubt yeah. be the drunk ones that are shouting at people. Oh so. come on, mate! I've never touched a drop in my life. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so thanks for listening. See you later, everyone. So first Grimald and Minoc destroy a pub. Then they destroy the roof of City Hall. I fail to see how they're saving this city at all. Hey, that rhymed. What a day. See you next time on The Foreign Beggars. <laughs> <laughs>